He's not my best friend if I ain't seen him in two years or talked to him in two years and you don't know who the is. Off this friend. hypothetical that they but are he reconnecting, didn't say he's that back that was in his town. Best friend. He said that was his little homie that he ain't seen in a while. He didn't say that was his best little friend. Little homie never came out of his mouth. He, swear to God he okay. said that was my little homie. All right, well, I mean, sometimes you got <laughs> Girls. You let him know who the big homie is. Let him know. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, Ma. And we are back. I feel like we never left. <laughs> For a quick two days. My life has been a... Uh, uh, my life is like in a neutral bullet right now. I'm curious what your phone has been like the last two days, because mine was... It's been a neutral bullet. Mine was blowing up about you, so I could only imagine <laughs> what your phone was Why like. Why your phone blowing up about me? Because the whole world was <laughs> reacting to your reaction of a reaction of a reaction. That's what we all do now. Right? We <laughs> react to a reaction of somebody reacting to yes. an action. To Drake reacting to Kendrick, who was reacting to Drake, who was reacting to Kendrick. Right. And now we're here. Reacting. To people reacting to my phone about your reaction. So your phone was going off for 48 hours. Yes. I got some interesting text messages. I got some interesting uh, um, phone calls, I, FaceTimes. I got some, some great text messages from West Coast people that, mm -hmm. that can't wait to have a conversation, not in that type of way, but would love to debate with you further. Oh, I thought you were about to say, I can't go to LA no more. No, 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 no. <laughs> Everything was love. And I, actually from the people you would the public would think yeah. would like hate you that is super team Kendrick and is publicly nobody been can't hate team me, man, Kendrick. I don't hate I don't hate nobody so you can't hate me if you hate me that's just weird I don't hate nobody I've been very clear throughout this thing um, it's not hate it's just you know I'm just kind of like befuddled at just the reactions it's like y'all don't really I like I get it you know what I mean but it's just like stop like we can we can stop at some point I mean, but have fun though. Have fun now, but like, we're gonna have to have a real conversation. Even. Of course, that clip went viral the way it did because it's clipped to a specific time of you yelling loud, and yeah. that'll always get people moving. Within context, yeah, actual conversation happened at one point, and I, everyone I wasn't, just thinks you screamed for two hours. Yeah, and I, and I don't want that. <laughs> like that's just so nasty because I'm not I'm not a, a screamer, mm -hmm. pause, but it's there just you like go. you know, <laughs> just in that moment, I just felt like. You know when you get frustrated that people just can't like understand what you're saying? And yeah, you're like, my how do y'all not understand? Exactly. Yeah. So that's all. And you guys understand why I'm always I'm mad all the time. I'm not mad at Kendrick. People are like, oh, you're so mad at Kendrick. I'm not mad at Kendrick. Why would I be mad at Kendrick? I'm not mad at Kendrick. Punch said it sounded personal. It's not I personal. I was like, personal? <laughs> it's not personal, Punch. I don't even know if he's ever met Kendrick. I, I met Kendrick years ago, though. Not, not, I haven't like been around Kendrick uh, in some years, but you know, it's, it's like I said, I fuck with Kendrick. I'm mm. very, very clear about that. These are two of my my favorite uh, rappers of their times, but by, by far, it's not even close. But you know, just uh, just getting frustrated with people's just lack of comprehending what's happening and what's going on. And but you know, I gotta stop feeling like everybody just is supposed to understand what I'm saying. I get I get in that zone sometimes, and I'm like mm. frustrated. But it wasn't yelling at Kendrick. I'm not upset at Kendrick. I'm not at, just explaining that. I'm just, yeah, like I said, I'm not upset. I'm not mad about anything. It's just like this is a very passionate, very like you know intense time in in music. That's all. Well, I was talking with Punch, and we were discussing how rap beef brings the worst out of everybody. At some point, when you're debating, even let's say fuck rap beef, just debating rap. At some point, someone is going to scream and get out of their character. I don't know why hip hop does that to us. Maybe it's because we love it so much. At some point, we're all going to yell. Mm -hmm. So, Terrace Martin tweeted that he loves you. Maybe you just ate something wrong that day. <laughs> oh my God, Terrence. he did? He said, I love more. Maybe. I fuck with Terrace. That's my, that's Terrace my hit guy. me too. Um, I forgot. His tweet was something like that. Yeah. I love more, but he maybe, maybe he ate something wrong that day. Yeah, maybe he I, had cheese or meat. Listen, man, these guys know me, man. I'm not, I'm not, you know, <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm, I, let me apologize to people that took what my, my passion was. The wrong way. I'm not upset. I'm not angry. It's all music. It's all a good time. Even though I don't agree with what Kendrick is trying to paint, I understand it. I mean, I would just want to shoot you bail of everyone that was under those comments. Every last one of y'all has been melting down for an entire week on the timeline. Yeah. Just because it's not audio, your thumbs were louder than Maul for seven days straight. Yeah. They have been, their thumbs are melted for yeah. the way they've been going off. And but it's just fun, because though. Maul expresses how maybe one side felt and the other side felt just in a different way. You guys were yelling just like that on the top. But Maul also has the platform to do so. Like, there's a difference between tweeting at somebody and, and being in a studio and having the ability to 
push. Yeah, I mean, but his you know, visual what aids like there's a lot more that goes into what Maul does. I think, but again, I, I think yeah. it's just the power of people just seeing a clip and just taking that and mm. and and you know trying to spin whatever they trying to spin on it. But no, I'm I'm not upset at Kendrick. I'm, I'm because when I read that, I was like, what? I saw some guy on TikTok saying that I was the guy that gave Kendrick. Like some info, I was like, mall like right they, they, the stories that are coming from this. I'm like, wait, me? Oh yeah, you became the mall. That shit is insane. Actually, me and Kendrick have been planning this since the BET Cipher in 2011. Oh, yeah, we're, we're that calculated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just laughing at that type of shit. But, um, you know, it's 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 all in uh good sport. Nobody's upset. Well, I'm not upset. Well, did, did now that you saw the fallout in the public? the matter of public opinion, not just on the beef, but more specifically directed at you, did that change your tone at all? Do you feel differently about this situation? Fuck no. Oh, okay. Are you kidding me? Drake is still smashing. <laughs> I wasn't sure if there was oh, okay. millions of people that disagreed with you. Maybe mil- like- You think I give a fuck what millions of people say? Millions of people can have bad taste. You know that, right? Of course. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. As long as we know that part of it. Like, just, I'm not pr- one of those guys. Proven for centuries. I'm not one of those guys that thinks that because a restaurant has a high rating that the food is great. I'm not one of those. Let, let me taste. Let me go and see because a lot of people don't know what good food is. Mm. Yeah, but then you a live lot long of, enough to understand that part. Like, but you're not as no, it's not. But all then, these restaurants y'all be going to is just for a picture and the ambiance. The food is terrible. But then you go to some of those really fancy, world-renowned restaurants and you get like this much food has no real flavor. Yeah, it just has the name. Exactly, and that's not good food to me. Exactly. I'd rather go to the, Ch- the Chinese spot that Drake and Kendrick go to. New so are you saying Kendrick is Philippe? Did I say that? No, I'm not uh, saying Kendrick is Philippe. I'm just saying that that song. Wait, is Philippe bad? To me, yeah, that shit is terrible. But um, <laughs> just taste levels. That's all it is. No disrespect he's, to Philippe to whoever Kendrick made. Less. You know what I mean? Like that shit is all. That, all that shit is trash to me. But it's just, it's just, it's just taste level. I'm not gonna get you started, but a lot of people would think that Drake would be more on the side of the high name, like a Philippe that everyone loves and goes to. That's the place they take pictures. That yep. gets the most attention but it doesn't have the best food when you get to the kitchen. Most people would say that in this food comparison. Mm, I hear you. I wasn't trying to get you started. I, listen, bro, I'm, I'm already started. <laughs> Is that the case anymore though, Rory? Because Not Like Us has been number one, which eclipsed Euphoria, which is now sitting at number two. So Kendrick now occupies the top two spots on the charts mm. and Not Like Us in its fourth day has over 12 million streams on Spotify alone, which is his first, not only his first solo mm. uh, number one, mm. but also in its fourth day, this is mm. the most streams it's gotten. So it's still going up. So yeah, maybe sure. he is the Philippe. Mm, yeah. We know so why. anyone that is number one why. is Philippe now? <laughs> we know why he's sitting at number one and number two. First because the biggest it's a common it's a common history. it's a common denominator in there somewhere. This just, is a Drake There's a feature. common factor in there somewhere. These are Drake features. It is a Drake. I'll give you that. These are Drake. And, and I said it before this beef started. I said getting a beef, getting into a beef with an artist like that is way, is going to do way more for you than you having a verse from an artist like that. Yeah. It's I mean, not even close. We definitely had that conversation that Push made out better beefing with Drake than if he just yeah. got a Drake feature. For sure. I agree yeah. with you there. But I also want to say, so what? Like, Okay. No, I'm just saying. I, that's, I guess that's I cool guess, too. I on that, that side, that's, that's cool a, too. That's a stat on that's, the. That's great. Yeah, he as got there as, because as Drake. long as you don't lose sight of that part, you could say so what. That, I'm cool with that. As long as we don't lose sight of that other piece. And I think it it deserves a number one off the difficulty it takes to beat Drake, not only in charts but in public perception. Mm. I think it's warranted number one outside of the song just being good. Y'all, y'all, y'all. That's me giving credit to Drake. It takes a lot to beat that guy. No, no. I mean, we know that, but I'm just, you know. Story of Adidon didn't go number one. As long as, as long, as long (laughs) as we keep that, so what is is valid too? I'm I'm, I'm I'm so on on the numbers always. Do I think it's great and congratulate Drake for being the highest streamed or second highest streamed person of all time, beat the Beatles? I think that's amazing. Mm Mm-hmm. But I don't really care in this. I also don't care about Kendrick going number one on this. And yeah. let's clarify that these are Spotify charts. These are not yeah. Billboard. Just want to clarify that. What you try? All right. No, so don't, don't, not like on. us is number one on Billboard. My album went number ten on Spotify amongst all genres. Now you're trying to discredit me because it wasn't on Billboard. Yeah, she. Honestly, I don't even. You part of the machine. Spotify is the real <laughs> yeah, number, no, not machine. Billboard. <laughs> It's not. You no. compromised. No, I'm just saying, like, I just want to make that clear that Taylor Swift is still sitting at the top of Billboard. But right she now. doesn't count. She's like, yeah, she's out. Yeah, being number two behind Taylor <laughs> right now is being number uh, one. 
Well, Tommy Richmond is number two right now. That's but the, I, that's fire record. Well, it's Congrats to him. Fire. I love that for him. Um, but that's Billboard. But he was talking about Spotify. Just yeah. And comparatively, up. Drake has had, if we're talking Billboard, five, 13 total, but five solo number ones. So. Mm. Yeah. Know. They're both pretty good at making music. See that after like the dust, I won't say the dust has settled per se. No, it's still, no, 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 it's it's still it's floating shit. around. It's, in it's still, yeah. nope. it's still very foggy very in deep, here. Rory. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the only thing people are discussing. But now that we're getting into these other intricates of, of numbers and that whole thing. This is when it starts to get a little exhausting for me because it's like, yeah, who gives a fuck? We already know who Drake is number wise. It's not what we're here to talk about. So once you get in that little back and forth, it's like, well, what was the point? Right. If numbers were the point, then why even have the battle? I mean, but, you know, again, back to the start of this, we knew that this was obviously going to be one of, if not the biggest moment um, that we've seen in hip hop music. Mm -hmm. As far as battling goes, I mean, obviously the Jay and Nas battle is is still probably right there as well. But this one, just because of everything that's added to it and attached to it now with social media being such a thing now and people having so many different platforms, media outlets and things like that. Like this is this just feels like a bigger, a bigger moment. Do you think. Not like us being number one, though, fuck numbers, just it being number one and it playing. You going say fuck M numbers and then say being number one? Let me land it. It being number one, it playing at NBA games, mm. it playing at tennis matches, it playing on the news the is, hurting, is hurting Drake's brand. So I'm not saying numbers wise matter or a number one slot matters. I'm saying what that number one has represented and where it's spread. Is that affecting his brand that a pedo anthem is playing <laughs> in the NBA playoffs? No, tennis players are walking out to it. I don't think it's I don't think it's hurting Drake's brand. Um, I think that it may feel like that and it may look like that, but mm -hmm. I think ultimately once this settles, I think it's gonna hurt Kendrick's brand more. Only okay. because if 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 Drake is found and proven not to be a pedo, which I know he's not, once the public sees that, I mean, is this not one of the worst things you can call a person? But it, Agreed. Yes, yeah, it's, I'm it's, talking about when it's, it's not there. when it's not who they are. It's up there. This is one of the worst things you could say about. No, somebody. to me, this is the worst. Yeah, I don't think there's any other thing you can label a, a person ever like snitching and all that shit. I get that shit with street shit. I understand that part. Rapist might be worse. I mean, I mean, this is along the you same are, line. You are raping. This is this is the same thing. It's just with a certain kids can't really. You know what I mean? Consent. So it's like I'll throw anti-Semitic in there too. Well, that's. <laughs> That's Taylor Swift, and then we're, we're going yeah. with that number two one. Oh, we're going to the two spot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, all right. Taylor Swift and anti-Semitism are always number bar? one, exactly. no matter what. Exactly. Matter of fact, shh. Never forget. Right. So it's like, Ew. <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not that and somebody labels you that, to me, that's some of the craziest shit ever. Okay. To me, I'm, I'm just speaking for me. I'm only ever speaking for me and my taste level. I think labeling somebody that and they're not, that's not who they are. Is some of the worst shit you could ever. But do. let's let's whether we want to say it's entertainment or not. It's certain shit you just don't even even in entertainment, even behind the guise of entertainment and comedy and things like that. There's certain shit you just don't ever play with. And to me, that's at the top of the list. I mean, let's go with history though. With the court of public opinion, is the damage already done? Let's say Drake comes out, and of course, I hope that on a moral level and outside of a rap beef, that he can prove to the world that yo, I don't touch kids. This was fucking crazy. Is the damage? But he's trying to do that, and y'all said, "Yo, he's explaining." The public too doesn't much. care. You, you'll see rapists go to jail, covered for a year, all the whole trial. They'll sit for twenty years, find out <laughs> they're innocent. They'll come out of jail, won't cover at all. Mm -hmm. They'll be a rapist for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. Is the damage done already? Even if he proves otherwise, I don't know. I don't think so because I don't think that nobody truly believes that. He, uh, I don't think nobody believes that. I think there's plausible deniability. Like there's enough. Kendrick wouldn't have jumped out like that if there wasn't enough smut in like the public perception of him that it fit. So the fact that we're even speculating it is enough. Kendrick won, I think, in that regard. You know what I mean? Who's speculating it? I don't think nobody's speculating that. I, I mean, I think whatever side you're on, you've made up your mind. I don't think nobody's <laughs> speculating that. But I was looking, I was wrapping my mind around, okay, who, I know they're not, no one will compare to Drake, but who's someone that's in a very high position of power that got charged with this kind of level of uh, thing, but then it, it was all bullshit and they, were they welcome back to the community? James, James Gunn, the video, the director that did um, Guardians of the Galaxy mm -hmm. got, they, 
he always had like, he was talking to young girls, but he never did anything. It was like weird. He was a, he had a really dark, sick sense of humor and he wasn't talking to young girls. He just made really fucked up inappropriate jokes. And like in the height of the Me Too movement, someone took all his old tweets, all his old posts and put it on like this 10 page doc, all of his like fucked up shit in like one doc. And they're like, well, this is fuck. You got to get him out of here. But he didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. So then he got booted off that project, got like ripped out of Marvel. And then for years was like, ghost mm -hmm. and then dc signed him again because obviously all this shit was bullshit nothing he didn't actually do anything and now he's working on like the new gardens of the galaxy movie so there is like a path to redemption but i feel like you have to like at least get off that public you have to get through the public ridicule that comes with it true or not yeah i just don't know how you go about that i mean i saw and i'm not saying conveniently but i would try to clean this shit up if i'm not a pedophile all the girls that were in those videos that were all over the timeline that everyone was accusing Drake of either grooming or being a pedo towards, all conveniently came out on the same day and said, hey, that's not how it went. Even the girl that made the Money in the Grave beat was like, you guys misunderstood me. I don't understand how you guys didn't understand me when she flat out said, we were in high school when it happened. Cool, everyone cleaned it up. And if I'm Drake, I do the same thing. I'm not accusing him of doing brand cleanup. If someone calls me a pedophile and I wasn't creeping on a chick, I'd say, yo, can you tell these people that we have no relationship like that? Mm. Even that kind of fell flat to me. They all came out in one day. They were on a bunch of podcasts I'd never heard of, <laughs> making statements with a bunch of people I'd never seen before, and it still fell flat. Yeah. So I guess that's my question of how can you even turn that around if that is not even the truth? I mean, to me, it's nothing to turn around. I don't think that's a real thing. Mm -hmm. I think because somebody said it in a record, Okay, like this is a battle. People are going to say things to try to assassinate somebody's character and demean somebody. But that's not a real thing. You know what I mean? It's just not a real thing. It's... And then when he did, did explain it in the hard part six, y'all said, oh, why is he always explaining himself? I felt like if somebody said that about me, I'm going to explain that to like, whoa, hold up. Let's be clear here. That ain't, that's not true. I don't I understand this is a battle and all that, but like, fam, this it's certain shit you just not gonna just throw out there. Like that's that's insane to throw that on somebody's jacket. I agree. You know what I mean? So it's just like, you know, I don't, it's not a real thing, but it's because of the moment and that's what was said. I think that you have to address it, but you saying it fell flat, it fell flat because it wasn't a real thing to begin with. How do you know? I'm that? just saying that turning turning around the public's opinion. Bro, you think that if you think that if Drake thing. was Having sex with underage girls, we Kendrick would have been the one to put that out there like that. No, I'm not. We would have been knew that. I'm just saying, like, I just don't oh, want to speak totally so true. definitively wow. about things. Like, we don't know. None of us know. We don't know what each other does behind clothes. Like, we don't know. You're right. In that sense, yes, that you're right. Stuff. I don't. That's I don't all know. I'm saying. I'm I've like, never seen this man lay down in his bed with whom, whomever he lays down with. No, never seen that. I'm just gonna. But I, I can say the same thing about a lot of other people in my life that I know. For sure. Yeah. So it's like the same thing. I would be completely and totally fucking floored if that were true. I would be like, oh, this is fucking insane. And there's nothing I won't come on, on, on my platform and say about how I feel about that if it's found to be true. I don't fuck with shit like that. But because I feel so strongly that it's not true, it's crazy to me that somebody is throwing that out there on somebody's jacket. Like that to me is something you don't play with. Okay, well then what, what do you think about some of the, the videos? Even though... Let's go with the 17 year old that came on stage that said somebody else from OVO picked her out of the crowd, whatever. She said her, her age, Drake was like, whoa, whoa you're going to get me in trouble. And, and seemed like he made the right move when he found out her age, mm -hmm. but then continued on and was like, yo, you really going to get me in trouble? I felt your breasts and all. This was all after she said she was 17. Mm -hmm. Is that just a mistake or is that a red flag? <sighs> I'm going to go on the side of a mistake than a red flag because of it was part of the, it was on stage at the show in that moment. Um, so I can understand that. Now, if this was something where they just at dinner chilling at a table and that happens, then it's like, he got in that. That's what you be doing at dinner. Like, mm -hmm. but on stage, you know, that's part of the show. I kind of, again, it's, I'm not saying it's right. So that's what I'm saying on the, on the side of a mistake. I'm not gonna say that's a red flag and this is what he doing, this is his bag and it no. Like I'm not I'm not gonna go on that side of it. I don't think it would warrant um a full this man's a pedophile and yeah. I'm gonna rhyme it and make it a number one record, but it was a little weird. 
Mm -hmm. after he found out. In the beginning, I was like, oh, he, how would he know? At first, I didn't know why people were outraged in the mm -hmm. beginning of the clip. I was like, well, if he didn't know, this is some Akon shit. Mm -hmm. Remember when Akon got in trouble and he was yeah. like, this is a 21 plus club. The fuck is security letting this girl in for? Mm -hmm. It was the after effect where I was like, all right, I kind of see what people are saying. He knows the age. Why are you doubling down on the freakiness? Mm. Well, so yeah. that raises flags with people. And when someone has something that rhymes that well, and you have at least one bit of video evidence, the court of public opinion is going to be very difficult to turn around, especially when the girl, and I'm not saying he, Drake put her up to it, or UMG, or her employer. I'm just saying she didn't really clean anything up. Her, her just saying, yo, I didn't feel violated. Cool. We didn't mm -hmm. say you did in the beginning. We just said he was a little freaky and weird after he found out your age. Yeah. That's it, all it was. So back to my original point of, I don't really know how this can be cleaned up for Drake, no matter how much controlled damage he does with it. He could, break, every girl no, could come out like, I don't how think there's do no damage though. Like, the the only way in this world, unfortunately, is just go make good music and hopefully people will forget, which is fucked up, but that's the world we live in. Go make another good movie. We forget about the nasty actor. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think Kendrick played it so well because it, it's the court of public opinion, which we've learned doesn't abide by the due process. There's no due process no due, with just, the court of public opinion. It's just whoever's, if there's enough speculative evidence and there's enough dots to connect this, that there could be some, what of a truth, a through line, hammer it. And I think that's exactly what Kendrick did. So Kendrick doesn't have anything to... I'm not saying Kendrick... I'm just asking. I, like, no, I mean, now, to inversely, we can have the conversation yeah. about the video coming out of the the uh, employees, the security team at the Hard Rock the, in 2014, and the mm -hmm. woman is saying, you know, I shouldn't be saying this. Uh, you know, Kendrick, there was a... Kendrick beat up this woman, her face is all bloody, all that shit. Look, that seems like more hard evidence. Mm -hmm. Like, that seems pretty concrete. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I don't, but again, that just kind of responded to that on the record. I don't know how that plays out. Obviously that, that at the time didn't take a legal route. So it seems like they internally figured it out. Nothing so, with Drake took a legal route. No, no. So they're both, it's just kind of stuck in this space. But, but Drake has to clean up and do damage control. <laughs> you know what? I mean, I think since that video has resurfaced, what do we find I more said, believable? Out of these two, and it's nasty that we. That's a yeah, like it's nasty. I don't even want to like have that combo, but I get your question. It's out there. We we just we just consumers of the of the music at this point. We just talking about what we heard. I don't know either of these gentlemen. I really don't. I've had a few conversations with Drake. I don't just. I don't know. Okay, if this was say this was a guy named fucking Dante and a guy named fucking fucking Aaron. Dante, right. right, who's Dante and who's Aaron? Dante, Dante. They're saying Dante. Where's Dante from? They're saying Dante is a pedophile. Right, oh, he's, a, he's a he's a fucking rap superstar. They're like, oh, he's a pedophile, right? And then they're saying Aaron beat his 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 fiance. Wait, up. Why do we need to speculate? I'm just can saying, like, let, let's just say we could just remove the names from it. Remove the names from it. Can I? Can I? What do you, you think is a more believable believable act? Can I give you a very political answer? That why you want to go? This ain't CNN. This is R and M. It's the What's truth. Up? What are we doing? Nice. <laughs> Say CNN, what are we doing? We ain't got to be political here. Yeah. Judging by what do you think is judging a more by history thing? and percentages, both of them are guilty. <laughs> oh, see, no. when is when is the last time? Okay, so, you talking about you talking going, about in the, the scope of you talking about just in the scope of the shit that happens in the world. That's what you're talking about. Yes. I'm talking about by the numbers. If you I'm will. talking about a fucking pop superstar. Listen, I don't want to put being a pedophile. I don't want to put... Have we seen it before? They, they tried it with somebody else that was a pop superstar. Never found nothing. Fair. You know what I'm I'm just saying, where we, going, on where we going with this? <laughs> where we going? I'm Mike Jack Prince. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a lot of comparisons happening in the history. I'm just but saying. Yeah. I'm where not putting going? it on every rich, famous person that they are a pedophile. But we have seen in the last 10 years that there is a community amongst the elite that is a little fucking petty. And I don't mean finally. <laughs> and I've ran into my fair share of pedophiles as we've joked on this podcast. <laughs> they were not rich and famous. Matter of fact, they was broke, drunk, and nasty. Yeah, that was like the the tubies of the uh, pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I put. They didn't even have a channel. <laughs> they didn't have a YouTube account. They're the street team. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they had a flip cam, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, molesting somebody with a flip cam is wild as fuck. Yo, turn around, turn around. You see, you know you had to you flip the phone up, had to hold it up like that. 
<laughs> and then how long it would take to upload that footage? You're dedicated. Um, That's not fun, man. Stop. It's cool. <laughs> Listen, I liked the route Drake took. Oh, I, I told you he was factual. about to say something else. Oh, all right. <laughs> I thought that. What he said, I like that. About the that's because you hang with OVO. That's why. No, I thought you was about to <laughs> say some more. That's why you thought shit. it was going there. No, I just you said I like, and I was like, wait, where is like, it where, going? Where were you in 1996? Uh, somewhere in Manhattan. <laughs> I don't know. Um, judging by the numbers, yeah, it's not that crazy to think that someone rich and powerful could end up in a fucking pedophile ring. That's Ryan no, Garcia. I, I understand. Now, that. I understand that. I'm I don't think about, it's crazy to think. I'm talking numbers about wise, coming from that somebody would beat their wife because that's very fucking common. So no, I don't think it's crazy to hear. Unfortunately, anybody in the world, if you found out that they, you talk, I'm talking about, I'm talking about artists, superstars, a, of especially this, of this caliber, of this caliber coming from rap. When is the when when have we have we ever seen that? Dr. Dre is on record of one of the biggest women abusers ever. I know no one will say it. I know it's everyone's yeah, scared to say not, that, but he's not a rap superstar, bro. Dr. Dre was not a superstar. <laughs> He's a billionaire. He was the first billionaire in this, rap, this space. Rap, 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 Just because he had a ghostwriter? Rap, rap, rap. Oh, <laughs> Dr. Dre is not a rap superstar, bro. What? He's not. He's not a rap superstar. What are you talking about? He did the Super Bowl. <laughs> well, he's a hip-hop superstar. Is that, is that what you're, are, you're just saying as a lyricist? I'm talking about as a rapper. As a rapper, I don't understand why, why I gotta is come that on important here. to the conversation? Like the, the argument that you guys are having, why is yeah. him rapping important to the conversation? He's still a superstar. Because I'm talking about a rapper, a rap superstar, not somebody that's huge in business, a business mogul, uh, one of the greatest producers ever. I'm talking about somebody that is strictly an artist. That has that, that that's beaten from their rap, wife. From hip, I'm not, no, I'm just saying, oh. when have we seen... <laughs> that's what I thought you were getting When have at. we seen any of those guys actually be found to be a pedophile? Oh, I don't, none that I know of. So oh, no, Africa Mbada, the back fucking, to, the, 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 the creator, if you will, of this shit is okay. a known pedophile. Okay, that. After that. <laughs> Isn't Diddy being charged right now with sex trafficking an underage girl? I don't know if it's of underage girls. I really don't. I don't think it's underage girls. I don't. The know. one girl, then she said she was sixteen. If you're sex trafficking, 24? do you really draw the line at age? That's kind of my where I'm at with. But do it. you know what sex trafficking is? Yes, I, okay. I get it. That there's like I know the loophole. If you fly a girl in and have consensual sex, you're sex. Yeah, because I know the loophole, lines. but I don't think that's what was going on over there. In some cases, I'm just saying we've never seen we've never seen if we have it's very few and far in between if it goes from being a pedophile or being a an an and abuse it okay. to their spouse partner. So we've you're seen more numbers, of that. Numbers wise, it's more likely. That. I'm just saying we've seen more of that okay. than we've seen that. Not saying we've never seen mm -hmm. that. I'm just saying more commonly we get stories of physical abuse on their spouses and things. Because that's more common in the world. Like we're trying okay. to put a mic a microscope okay, so on hip hop, that, which is unfair to hip hop, right? Because the world is way but we just crazier moment, and shittier just than hip hop. The could things ever be. that we've been told in this moment, and I'm saying by down. numbers, there's probably more wife beaters than there is. This is such a nasty conversation. But I'm this is right this now. is this is this is what we've been presented with, <laughs> and this is what I told the Washington Post. Once the dust settled, we we were about to have a conversation yeah. that was going to be so nasty. This is what that I didn't want to have. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's why I said what I said in the beginning of this episode. That to me, putting that on somebody. When you don't know if that's true or not, it's some of the craziest shit ever. That's all I'm saying. But also don't say in the same breath that I beat my wife if I did not beat my wife. True. I'm with you on that. I'm definitely with you on that. And I mean, you know. I thought it was all, thing. Fa all fairs and rap battles. Oh, no, it is. I thought. I th I'm still on that not, side. Not I'm on that side like, no matter not what. Not when it comes to shit like calling somebody. So there are battle. rules in rap battles. In life. Just throwing nah. that on somebody's jet. Yo, that's he's a pedo. What? No, but he didn't just you know say how crazy it, that is. Like he said it because there was enough. Is evidence. there enough? There was enough. It, it, there's enough that it's been the, the the crux of this whole thing since it came out. Is he? Is he not? If there wasn't anything plausible that people could see in Drake that this might not be true, this would have gone away so fast. There, there's a reason why it's still hanging on. I think the thing was. Oh, what I thought in the beginning was because people were saying Drake likes young girls. I think people took that because a young girl could be a 21, 22, 23 year old. Could still be a groomer. It's not. Yeah. Pedophile, I'm, just, but I'm, it's just, I'm just saying a young girl could be 22, 20. That's a young girl to somebody that's 35, 30, 100%. 34, 36 years old. I think he's 37. Whatever he is. Yeah. I'm just saying that could be considered a young girl. Mm. So I think when people hear that, they automatically go to, 
underage girl or a fucking minor. And it's like, no, if I'm 34 and I like a 22 year old, I'm not doing anything illegal. Yeah, but the goal, po- like the shift happens, uh, like if you have an affinity for younger women, so then just do the math. So if Drake's 37 and likes women that are 20, okay, well, when he was 25, he probably no, 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 likes no, no. women that are. I'm not giving you that. I'm like not 17. See, now, you, now you sound crazy. No, I'm just saying, like if you if you're, you if your crazy, thing bro. is younger now women, you sound crazy. Now you it's sound just crazy. because he's getting older. Now he has the luxury now of picking at 21 year olds. for X for yeah, pedophiles. Like, what are you talking crazy. about? Yo, you sound crazy. He as equals fuck. MC right, squared of when when he was knows. 25, he was he liked girls. That what are you talking? I don't even everything about pedophiles. I just don't think it like works in a stagger. That what is that? That's not, that, that was I think crazy. if you if Yo, you like the children, like that I'm saying crazy. if your thing is younger women, when you're 23, you probably don't want to be with a 21 year old girl. You probably want to be with a woman that's a girl that's 17, 16, because you like that dynamic of being that much older than your person that you're with. That's my point. So when you're 37, all right, she's 20. I'm 17 years older than her. Yeah, it's legal. It's cool. But like, yeah, she's still young as shit. But like, oh, there's, there's a bigger gap. Then maybe you, you are. That's into, my point. Maybe you're into grooming. I don't think that means. Yeah, I think grooming is probably the more appropriate term to use, at least when it comes to this situation. Like, I don't think if a 60 year old likes children, when that child becomes 30 and they're 90, they're like, oh, well, I like them now because they're 30. No, I think they liked the child. By the way, they're calling Metro Boomin Metro Grooming. And I'm sorry, that's fucking very funny. Larry. Oh, Why old, are they calling him his that? old tweets? So Metro's old tweets popped up and they're 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 nasty. Even but, in the wild, wild west of Twitter, but didn't it, but wasn't he? Crazy. But wasn't he young when he tweeted all this shit? These 2012? are all from 2011. 2012. Some of them he was underage, but oh, so I just see 2011, 2012, just a, 14. Yeah, just a couple of these. She might be young, but she ready. Well, that's a good lyric. From, no, though, what was the, my in 2014? Response? He said she might be young. How was how old was Metro Boomin in 2014? But also, who's young? Like who's that's he also talking about? An Alicia Keys song written by Drake. Swag. <laughs> if we're being real. That might be young when I'm ready. Out of context, these all look, I mean, they don't look great at all, but like out of context, who knows what the fuck he's referring to here? And that, there was that's some also probably ones, another lyric. Got your little sister on the Molly. She done ran through the whole squad. Like, I'm sure you just didn't randomly think that at 11 a.m. <laughs> it's probably a lyric. <laughs> like, <laughs> there was like a Miley Cyrus one that kept popping up. Like, he was like, no, that was um Mac Main. That was that, Mac Main. That was Mac Main. That, that was his rollout. About, yeah. <laughs> his oh, rollout yeah. was Miley Cyrus turning 18. That was nasty. Yeah. Um, anyways, though, like aside from this conversation that I mean, I'm glad we had, but it was weird. I don't <clears> think anyone else is gonna have that combo, and I'm happy we did. But where does this go now? Now that we're talking about the rebrand and how he's gonna come back, pause. Is Drake putting out more music? I fully believe that he is not done here. I think he saw the the reply to. Do you think Drake is never gonna put out music again? No, I mean in regards to this. Oh, like direct, not just mentioning it on an album. I think he saw the reaction to Heart Part Six. I don't think he feels the best about Heart Part Six because I don't think he felt great making it. I can hear it. Knowing Drake and how he still holds on, he just pushed three years after he said he was done. Mm-hmm. Like unwarranted for no reason, just because that's who Drake is, and I like my rappers petty, and I like them to never forget shit. All right. I think we have a lot more Drake music on the way very soon. Um, I think that's a fair assumption. I mean, I think that in this moment, artists of these two, their caliber, I think this only gets them inspired creatively. And I think their minds are just on a, on a wheel. They're thinking, they're writing, they're listening to a bunch of different music. Um, they're creating, obviously, records. So yeah, I think that I think that this energy rolls over into album, mm-hmm. EP, um, something like that. Um, definitely with some of this energy still attached to it. I think that. I just think that. I think the sequence and the cadence of this thing changed. And I believe Drake is no longer like, I. Right, I don't care what he's doing over there. I'm going to make this. I'm going to make what I'm making. I'm going to create what I'm creating. And I'm going to drop that when I want to drop it, re- regardless of what he's doing. So he could put out two, three, four, five records this week. This is, I'm, a, over, I'm over here creating this. So kind of what Kendrick's strategy was. Um, I don't know if that was Kendrick's strategy. I think Kendrick obviously prepped. Again, going back to the beginning of this thing, we knew that Kendrick hadn't, his tour was over in 2022. 
I believe mm-hmm. he hasn't been really active since then. So he obviously had more time to prep for this thing. He he had more time to think about it and to think about other different angles and how he was going to come out of this, parlay that into his album mm-hmm. and things like that. I think that Drake coming off of tour and jumping right into this, like I said, he would have to become a different person because this is a battle mode. This is not just Drake creating songs that he thinks the world is going to love and accept. This is tailored for exactly specific individuals. It's a different energy that comes with this music. Um, and I think that he's still in that mode of creating. I just think that the, he's not no longer releasing it as this is a shot. This is a missile. This is, a direct, right. this is gonna be a this is gonna be a complete thing. Cause I, even if you listen to Family Matters, Family Matters sounds like a record that would be on a Drake album or a Drake project. Yeah, the the beat for sure. You know what I mean? Like the music changing up the way it did. Um that sounds very that sounds very familiar coming from Drake. I'm not even saying battle mode per se or timing. I'm saying Kendrick's strategy of no matter what Drake says or does, I'm sticking to what I'm doing over here. After Family Matters came out, Meet the Grams seven minutes later, no matter what he says. After that, not oh, like no, this, it was, I'm not. It was I'm mattered. Not, it was mad. It mattered what he said. It definitely mattered what he said. It goes back to our conversation. Meet what the I was Grams saying, wasn't working. That's that's why not not like us came. It did what, what it was supposed to do. It stepped on an amazing no, that's right. But that's all it did. Let me finish. Like us the let better me finish. music. But music. did you, to our conversation last episode, Drake over explaining gave validity. We have not even really addressed Kendrick's allegations because he won't. He's focused on what he's doing. No matter what Drake says, I'm putting out Not Like Us. No, I'm, no matter what, I'm putting out Meet the Grams. I don't even need to hear what he's saying. I'm not going to talk about Dave Free. I'm not going to talk about my wife. I'm only focused on what I'm doing and my shit about you. Yeah. So I think, yes, Drake should take that strategy. Don't be so reactive. Stick to your plan of what you want to do. Because clearly Kendrick's not addressing anything and Kendrick, I'm sorry, and Drake is, which has made him look more guilty, unfortunately. <laughs> made I'm just, guilty. I'm giving you perception. Okay, that's yeah. fair. And so, to what, so what you're saying with Drake going, taking a minute and maybe doing an EP or an album or whatever that's focused on, I don't give a fuck what Kendrick is saying or doing. I'm going to do my shit, I'm going to shoot at him and focus on my music. That's the strategy Kendrick had. That's where I think Drake should have stayed. After push-ups, I think he should have gotten in his mode of what he thought was he should have done. Even though I can feel, feel for him, if somebody called me a pedo, I'd be sitting there like, well, new strategy. <laughs> new strategy. <laughs> <laughs> but if he stayed focused, that's the, you keep asking why no one is looking for evidence or is pushing on Kendrick, like, yo, how come he hasn't addressed any of this? If you've seen with every record, he has not paid attention to one thing Drake has said and stayed with the records that he had recorded already. This is, this is my strategy going in fucking horse blinders on. I'm just going to post what I have. Mm. And it worked. And, and last night, uh, Drake posted this to his story. Maybe there's some criticism. Maybe I do. But when you die, you're going to be more Shout out to Jeff Daniels. A lot of members of me by a lot of people. Many of them paid their people so. A person needs to live better than lots of those are so it's it's an it's a sequence from a show on Netflix that's basically it's about a real estate mogul that faces bankruptcy, political and business uh, interests colliding, and it's pretty much him defending his empire until the end. Mm-hmm. So, with no caption, Drake posts this, and and people are saying, and this is what I not people what I believe. I think he saw the public opinion, saw that he's losing this. Here's don't and he notices how big don't like us has gotten. Um, not like us, pardon me. And uh, he's he needs to. He's not going to make the same mistake he made with Pusha. He has to double that. You have to go at him. You can't disappear and let the if you let the public call it, you lost. And I don't think he wants to leave it up for people to make that decision. I think he wants to take matters into his own hands. Either can't. win or go down with the ship, with the whole home burning. Yeah. And you and you can't say this is over the line now. That's why I'm not replying because you did that the last time, and the line went. No disrespect to 40. I hope your health is great. But dog, this is a way crazier line than mocking MS. But did who? Oh, that was y'all that said y'all felt like he was waving the white flag on the hard part six. Because I never felt like. I didn't think that. I felt like y'all said that Monday. No, that was. I felt like he said that in so many words. Yeah, a few people, that was the theory because he said 
you, you can go ahead, drop all them songs you want to drop. Blah, blah, blah. Like basically, like I'm. You burnt like, out. Yeah, like do what you gotta do. Okay, like, I'm gonna be over I'm here over on vacation. It. Like yeah, he I'm said done the with shit this. getting burnt out. It's burnt you out. You tell tone. That and there were like three separate lines on that song in itself where he was like, yeah, and I mean, I think uh, that could also be a strategy. When I heard it the first time, I was like, oh, is this his way of kind of doing a a psych type of thing to make it look like this is done? Kendrick can relax. Go shoot your not like us video. Go focus on that while I plot over here to make it look like I'm done. I could see that being a strategy. I thought he outright made it seem like, yo, I'm done with this. Mm. This was some fun exercise which was a crazy line to me. <laughs> like <laughs> getting the pen working? It was a crazy line? Yeah. It it all of it felt nasty. This is what you asked for. And now you're like, "Oh yeah, I guess thanks for coming to the court. Like I don't want to well, play." I, like I said, I think the cadence of it is what was like, we're waiting for you, you drop, I drop, I drop, you drop, then you drop again and it's like because at some point you got to ask yourself all right, are we supposed to just keep, how long is this supposed to keep? Like, you drop a record, I drop a record, you drop a record, you drop two records, I drop two records. How long are we supposed to do that? Would you, would you feel that way if it was flipped? Let's say Drake looked like the victor. Would you, would you be like, well, yeah, it's, I mean, it's over now. No, I still would feel because, again, if we talk about a rap battle, this has been the most, like, we've, we, we, have, we haven't seen records, I think, come, like, pause, come like this. Ma- Mainstream-wise. Underground rappers. So it was kind of, well, sure. that's, they do whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of like. Every other fucking hour. It's like, God damn. Yeah. So it's like, this started to feel like that. And, yeah. you know, artists of, of Drake's Max was like, all right, I'm not going to entertain this book for so long. Like, what are we doing here? Like, so I think that was more so the 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 feeling on Heart Part 6 was like, all right, man, like, I'm not going to keep, this isn't going to go on for another month and a half. Like, we're not going to do this for another month. Like. That's the feeling I got. Not I'm waving a white flag. I give up. Like I didn't. I never got that tone from from that record. Um, let's go back to I don't know two months ago when it was the Cole Kendrick Drake possibility, and we all agreed that this was great because finally in rap this will be a rap beef that won't go too far. Yeah, nobody's gonna get hurt. It'll mm-hmm. stay on wax. Like what a, what a perfect time in hip hop. Mm-hmm. Three elites. No one's going to hurt anyone. Everybody knows what time it is. And then two days ago, Drake's house gets shot up. Mm -hmm. Do we think this has anything to do with the Kendrick and Drake beef? Or is this something else that was mentioned on push-ups and family matters? I think this was, um, I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to dismiss it totally not having anything to do with the, the beef that's currently going on. Um, because the timing of it is just too, you know, it's like you got to kind of think that, think about that. The Kendrick theory sounds very far fetched. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm, <laughs> very far fetched. But I can understand in the height of all of this how somebody would think that and throw that into the mix. Like, yo, could this be a part of this whole Kendrick Drake shit? I understand yeah, but that. But those are I don't the same people that. that think uh, Biggie shot Tupac. Right. Like, I'm not, I'm <laughs> not one of those he people. Didn't. But I can understand how easy it is for people to feel that mm. way. Um, I think that this was you know, just happened to be just a random somebody or some some people. Um, it's not hard to figure out where Drake lives if you're from Toronto. Um, and I think they just drove by his crib and just shot at it. I don't know. I don't think this was anything deeper than that. Mm. I feel like if like a Stan or quote unquote clout chaser or someone along those lines would have made sure they filmed it so we knew they did it. I think only the crazy fan in this scenario would make sure that they could go to their Stan account and that Stan community mm-hmm. and be like, yo, look what I I'm did. I'm the one that did that. So that's where I think this has nothing to do with Kendrick or some crazed fan. Mm-hmm. Not some John Lennon shit. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to save Drake from his innocence. Right. I think it has a lot to do with an ongoing internal Toronto thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, we saw, and this is headline news, we're not breaking anything. Cash from EXO's house was shot, what, last week in LA? On the 29th which, of which April. Which who the fuck knows because in the hills, that happens. shit is crazy. It's happening all the time. So we don't know if that has to do with anything. But I can see this being more of a Toronto thing than it could ever be. A Kendrick. A Kendrick, like, yeah. I don't think Kendrick, even though he said <laughs> to Drake's mom, I hope he fucking dies. Mm-hmm. I don't really think Kendrick wants to harm him. Yeah, no. I don't get that. But yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not one of those people that's putting this on this, um, this beef thing. 
This is definitely something totally separate from that. But let's all right. Let's speculate that it's an internal Toronto thing. We don't have to put names to anything at all. I'm asking you as a civilian, what stat is that that you shot a security guard outside of a mega mansion? Like, what what type of stat are you getting? Yeah, because you can't even talk about that stat. <laughs> like, who can you even tell that stat to? <sighs> and for what? Yeah, like, you some, did you did nothing. Yeah. Yeah. And prayers to um, that security guard. I heard he is doing much better. Yeah. But it, he probably has a family. He's not sitting there trying to get fucking shot. <laughs> right. I don't, th I don't think any of these gentlemen are trying to get shot. Um, or even involved in this. I'm guarding Drake's house. It's my job. Right. <laughs> Some petty back and forth shit. I had a crib. Yeah. I, I don't know. I found it a little weird. And granted, I don't know what happens behind the scenes. I know Toronto can get very fucking dicey in certain places and certain people. Absolutely. But... Come on, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. Just shooting people's security guards yeah, outside their, their mega mansion? Yeah, this is this is Cause, where because of rap shit, right? Yeah, this is this is where you know. Again, I, even though I don't think this has anything to do with the the, the rap, the beef or the battle, um, but this is where things can quickly, the energy can change quickly and be like, oh shit! Now this is something that we thought it wasn't going to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you talking about somebody shooting up one of the biggest stars or shooting at one of the biggest stars in the world's house. Like that's fucking insane in itself. Can I give you my theory? And I don't want to put this on anyone at EXO's jacket or anything like that, but we saw the theories online. Drake said he have no shooters. And then all of a sudden someone shot. Cool. Not anything that I'm bringing to the table. If this does disappear, I think that does give that theory a little bit more credence. That is a very wealthy neighborhood. Mm -hmm. There's a fucking ring camera on every last block mm -hmm. i don't care if they got a stolen car different plates they're gonna figure out oh, yeah. who the fuck did that oh yeah without a doubt and if it ties back to somebody specifically and it disappears i think that's saying a lot mm -hmm. if we don't really hear from this mm -hmm. and it doesn't end up being just some crazy some kid that was just shit. like yo let me go do this shit so everyone knows my name yeah and there's some type of tie back to somebody else to somebody else to somebody else to somebody else I think we know who it came from. Mm. And I see it disappearing. I don't know if we're going to get a I bunch of, not, I don't man. think we're going to get a I bunch don't want of shit to go. Yeah, I don't want shit to go that route. Like, I hope, I hope it's not. I hope it's not. Because that now we just like, all right, like, we back to this type of shit. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I hope, so I hope it's not that. Do you think it was uh, Lucian Grange by himself? <laughs> Shot Drake's Chris? <laughs> Listen, man, we found out in paperwork that Jimmy Henchman went by himself during a banquet to shoot up Tony Ayo's mom's house. Yeah. Anything is possible. Yeah, but Lucian? Like, no. So, <laughs> Some of these execs Jimmy do they Henchman, own dirt? Yeah, but Jimmy is a different type. He was doing that before, <laughs> way, before. The, way before the music shit. Like, we ain't got to... We ain't got to talk about that. Reading that paperwork was some of the craziest. Like, everyone knew there was a back and forth. Yeah. But when you read that paperwork from that snitch, they said, yeah, no, Jimmy left the banquet and said, yo, tell him I'm in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> and then came back to the banquet. <laughs> <laughs> Different type of guy, man. Um, but did you see the, the other theory, speaking of Lucian, of, of UMG trying to shut this down for Drake's sake, which I think this was debunked, but... Yeah, it was. We definitely can speculate that UMG is having a lot of conversations of where they want to go with it. They're both UMG, right? Yeah. Well, Kendrick is licensing, but it's UMG. St still UMG. Yeah, I think, I, I believe it. I can see why UMG would want to uh, put it into this. Definitely. I think they want it to drag a little bit more because clearly it's profitable. But at what cost? That's why I'm saying I, I definitely believe that UMG uh, reached out to both parties and had a conversation. What what that conversation was about, what it entailed, I don't know. But I think that UMG definitely, like, why wouldn't they? This is their, this is uh their their business partners. Like they why wouldn't they want to intervene at some cost, whether it's just to kind of gauge what's happening, uh, what's going on, like how long is this thing supposed to go? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the energy? Uh is it is it turning into something else personal? Obviously, things are being said that can then turn into something else that UMG will probably have to get behind and try to like fix. Mm. So I think that some somebody from UMG definitely reached out and had conversations. Um, now, whether or not they said, "Oh, stop," or "Yo, chill," or I'm I don't think any of that. I think that UMG definitely reached out and had conversations with both parties to kind of just gauge this thing and understand exactly what's happening, how much longer. 
um, is this supposed to go on? I'm not even curious of what like the high execs are talking about. More so that for those that don't know, all the divisions of UMG ended up in one building because the music industry is minimizing as far as employees go. Mm -hmm. So I would just love to see the person that is working the not like us record. We're like, we're about to bring it to radio. And then someone from the PR team at Republic is like, you're going to do what? Right. <laughs> yeah. We want to work a record that's going to kill, kill another one? Yeah. I want to know what that chaos looks like. Mm -hmm. But then again, UMG has had so many things on their jacket that they have not given a single <clears throat> fuck about. Exactly. Like, but this is, this is, we know this is different. Like Lucian might've walked in, they, oh, they called him a what? A pedophile? <laughs> they called me that. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they've been caught up in that whole, uh, before the statute of limitations. Diddy was in it. Cosby was in it again. Mm -hmm. UMG execs were in it too. This yeah. is nothing new. They've never really given a fuck about a moral standard. So I don't know if they care at all to end it. Nah, they definitely care to end it. I, I don't think that that's what that call was about. I think that that call was probably just a, a t temperature check. Where, where are you, you going to take yeah, it? Like, where, where is this going? What's happening? Um, but I don't think that they're trying to intervene and stop because they feel like Drake is losing, whatever they were saying, Drake is losing. So UMG jumped in to stop it. Like, I don't think that that's what happened. I think that these are both vested interests of UMG and they're just checking in on these artists. Is Drake compromised because... He has even more invested interest with UMG. Let's say hypothetically he finds real evidence, not just a chick from Hard Rock Cafe talking about some Kendrick shit. Mm -hmm. He finds real evidence mm -hmm. or real statements. Mm -hmm. Does he consult with UMG or just put it out? No, nah, he puts that out. You got to put that shit out. Is that Fuck relationship? Because I'm sure Lucian and Drake are much closer than Kendrick and Lucian. Mm -hmm. we, we know it's a way different relationship there. Top probably has a better relationship with Lucian than Kendrick does. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Drake does that right away. No, I really I think, think he has to uh, have some type of conversation with, nah. with his partner. I think it's the opposite. Uh, where it stands I think right he does now, it and Lucian hits, him with, Lucian hits him with the Julian line. Come on. <laughs> like, he, he calls Drake. Come text on. Him. Like, come it's, on. It's what just you, a distri yeah, distribution why, deal, but why come would on. You, why would you put that out? <laughs> like, that's, I don't think Drake is hitting him talking about, yo, I'm about to put this out. And fuck it, you guys are not. He's going to drop that shit. And then the text messages and the emails will come in after that. Yeah. Lucian, we'll, we'll get him some more therapy. We'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, where, where it stands, um, I, do you, I think Drake's dropping next. Do you guys have any thoughts on like what's to come in terms of like releases? I, I think similar to what. Well, I think, well, not to cut you off, Rory, okay. but to cut you off. I think that. I don't think Kendrick is dropping anything because not like us is what they're working right now. Yeah, I think he's shooting the video. I think no, he I has agree. clips ready in case Drake drops, but but he's not he's not releasing anything until I think he's ready because he doesn't need to drop because he's clearly up. So I think it's in Drake's court still. Mm -hmm. I don't think Drake is dumb enough to think one record could change this. I think he's recording multiple, and he's going to drop all those at the same time. I don't think Drake handles criticism well, which I think is why he's such a great artist. After for uh, for all the dogs, he got a lot of flack. Said I was done. Walked back in, said, Noel, I'm, I'm not retired anymore. Mm -hmm. Here's seven more fucking conductor records. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Won me the fuck over immediately. The best. I did not like for, the do for all the dogs. That scary hour shit is incredible to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Won me over like, all right, I was wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah. I think that's probably the only way when I've been thinking about this the past few days when people weren't dropping. I was like, all right, Drake's probably recording three songs a day. And he's going to pick the best however many of that. And we are going to get a whole package of records. And then Kendrick's going to have to deal with that. And I think Drake is going to have two just on the side, just in case. Yeah. Again, one's going to have a hit changing the cadence of the thing of this whole thing. Yeah. I think is what Drake is, is going to do next. Just change it. Um, like you said, focus on what he's doing, what he's working. Fuck. If Kendrick is putting out records and when he's putting them out, you go in your, in your back cave, create your, your, your piece of art. Mm. And give it to the people when you feel like it's done and you're ready to give it to people. Um, before we move on, because I know it's been almost an hour, but this is what the fuck is happening. Yeah. This I is don't think lot. anyone's complaining. I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to bring up a theory last episode. I forgot, but I did tweet it. Do you think there is a world where the mole is actually the opposite and Drake was fed misinformation about the Dave Free and Whitney 
kid situation. <laughs> no. I think you got your aluminum foil on, but no. Because where does one find out that information? I'm speculating. Because I could see a world where somebody could feed that to Drake because it sounds like fucking ridiculous. Yeah, but what if this is something that he's known or heard for a few years? True. I mean, I know everyone speaks with him. And somebody sent the mold three years ago? But I, I, I do think Drake, even though I've been giving him shit, is calculated and doesn't really move on shit unless he knows it to be a fact. Mm -hmm. I think he's proven that in his career and mm -hmm. done very well at it. Mm -hmm. I think he, he would need more than just industry gossip to be like, oh, yo. Yeah, no, that's not. He's not and the fact that he was sitting on that and that was his nuke and he thought it was going to go better than what it did. I feel like maybe a mutual friend could have confirmed that to Drake with the purpose to mislead him. I think that's part of why this whole, the perception of who's up, who's winning or not right now is because I think Drake is operating off of that. Like, I'm not saying shit unless I know it's a fact. Yeah. Where and in a rap battle, in a rap battle, people don't even care about what the facts are. Yeah. It's just whatever they think sounds good or whatever you know, sticks, whatever sticks, uh, you know, people looking for a reason to like, yeah, fuck him. We never liked him anyway. Whatever it is. Mm. I think that that's what matters more than beef. Where I, th I think that in a in a in a in a honorable but like maybe not so beneficial way, I think Drake still was approaching this with integrity. Like I'm not going to. I see integrity within a rap battle. Like, I'm gonna say some wild shit about you, but at least it's true. But it's gonna be true. You gonna say wild shit about me? That's not true. But people are gonna, you know, sing to it and and jump up and down to it. Okay, cool, whatever. That's where I think this is. I think that he had a little integrity, a little little bit of more morals and saying, I'm not going to put something on somebody if I don't have enough to believe that this is 100% true. And I'm in the middle of that where I don't know who's telling the truth. I think both people need to prove it or both people don't. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know these people. <clears throat> I'm not going to say one side is, is saying facts and one isn't because mm -hmm. I really have no fucking idea. Mm -hmm. I'm on, all right, this is sticking and this is not sticking because I really don't know y'all. Yeah. But and on the other end of that, uh, one of Kendrick's friends uh, from Compton who's featured on To Pimp a Butterfly uh, album cover did respond to your clip mall and say that not only confirmed that there's a daughter, but she just celebrated her birthday. They have photos of her, but they're worried for her safety to put any information about, about her. Wait, what? Yeah. yeah. Somebody that was on Kendrick's album cover. I think it's T-Row. No, it's, they, they were talking to T-Row. They were talking to T-Row. Mm -hmm. okay. He said Drake has a daughter. They they they're still <laughs> they're tripling down. They're confirming that it's true, but it's more of like we don't want to put it out for a safety issue. Do you want to play the clip or no? Yeah, we could play it. There you go, because they play Maul's clip in it. So I'll skip Maul. Hold on. And he's going for it. <laughs> in my run is me being an dirty girl. You've been engaged for years. You're not married yet. You living in New York. She's not. <laughs> Let's talk real shit. All this 11 year old daughter shit y'all talking about. I really don't think this is as crazy as people made it out to be. Family matters. It's, it's a better record. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say it was a bad record. record. You know, he said Family bad. matters is probably the best song in this whole thing. It ain't no problem. It's the best record that's released in this entire All right, see so the reaction. See, that's when we got to get out. Hey, I'm all I'm going to say. Oh, he said you got to get out. I don't think they was really <laughs> being serious. All I'm going to say is this. To the world. <laughs> That girl just had a birthday. That's all I'm gonna say. And that ain't her in the video. Two. We know that already. He didn't break nothing with that. Mm -hmm. With what? That's not her in the video. Oh yeah. No. No, I think he's addressing um like when you said that he had pictures of the little girl like trolling you in the video. Ah ah. When it was like those pictures have been there for years. Yeah, and I, I didn't want to cut you off because you was cooking, but that was debunked. Those, those photos had been at that spot since 2021. That wasn't So that like wasn't like an Easter movie. egg of like, that's the girl. Okay. But no, they're I stand corrected. But they're <laughs> suggesting that the girl does exist and she just had her 11th birthday. Let's finish real quick. Fan, you a fan. 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 You a of course, it's back oh, on okay. Fig. Yeah. <laughs> like they supposed to look like they're on back on Fig. Yeah, they supposed to like the record. Shout out to T Rub. Yeah, of course. Um, but I mean, they're they're close to TDE and are suggesting that that's not Cap. Like no matter what Drake says, everybody is aware within that circle. And I'm not saying Kendrick couldn't be feeding people the same shit, the same way we've accused Drake of feeding the media with certain narratives. I think Kendrick's been doing it too. I think they've all been using bots. They could be fe feeding Fig that information. I don't know.
I but just, I they just are suggesting get... that that is 100% true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I well, also just don't think I it's as don't... crazy as everyone else because I think a superstar could have an 11-year-old kid he doesn't know about. <laughs> I don't think so. Especially when he already, like, it's not just the, uh, it's not just the, the bomb. It's like, it comes with weight to it. Like, he already did the route of hiding a kid. Like, there's plausible, it makes sense. He did it once. But why why do wouldn't he do it he again? Why would he do it again? He did, Maul. He did not know if that kid was his during that battle. Like, why, what, I don't understand how y'all not comprehending. That. I think he, he knew was at in that the middle time. of a paternity. He had to have known, bro. What do you? The point. Uh, where, even do we, matter. where do you it grab this matter. information? By the time we learned who Adonis was, he was how like why wouldn't this have all been figured out long before then? Why did it all spark because Pusha T named like got some info? It about didn't it. spark. It was going on. It was a, it was a paternity suit going on. He was trying to figure out if that was his kid or not. That was information that was given to a woman that had a relationship with Pusha as well. But he did not know definitively if that was his kid or not yet. Like I just don't understand how people don't know that part of it. Like. I don't know the timing of that. I thought he knew at that point, but was just not ready to tell everyone, which, it, would, be, which would have been fine. Which would have been fine. <laughs> totally and like fine. I said last episode, he may know about this 11-year-old. It could be true and had an agreement with that child's mother that this one is going to be hidden. I don't want anything to do with what the fuck is going on with your life right now. Yeah. Uh, I just, I don't, I don't see that. If you have a kid at this point, what does it matter if you have another kid? Because that it mother or that side of the family could be like, nah, be part of her life, but... We don't want to be in the mix of this entire thing. We don't want to get caught up in this. Be in her life, but don't promote it. I just feel like this dude is too big of a star for people not to know if he really has a kid or not. I just don't see, I don't see you being able to, to, to hide that for 11 years, 12 years. I just don't see that. Uh, Bruce Jenner did it for as long as I can remember. I didn't even know he had a whole other family. Yeah, but you also not, <laughs> Bruce Jenner is not a fucking the star the size of a, a he, he ran away from that family immediately. <laughs> I see what you mean. I get it. <laughs> I was probably like 28. I think I think Bruce had became Caitlyn when I found out. I was like, oh, he has like seven other kids. Yeah, but Brody that's been enough. I only know about Brody. Brody. <laughs> Shout out to Brody. And, and that's because like Eve put a camera in Brody, their face. Brody, and they were like, you're we part in, of this shit too. Putting shit together here? No. We're not putting it together. No, you're not seeing the... No. Okay. But I just think that 21 that's why right that down the street from Kylie. Drake has a 12-year-old daughter. I just, I just don't know. I don't see that. I don't see that being real. 11. I don't see no star that big being able to hide a kid for 12 years. I don't see that. Um, no, I mean, <laughs> what? I mean, I just don't see it, especially when you already have one that people thought you was hiding. You think they wouldn't have been found that other one by now? OK, let's let's go off the rumors of Hove paying certain people to oh, just keep it under wraps. Talk about rumors and shit. I just it's, it's a bro, thing. This is not the National Enquirer, bro. I'm not going to entertain gossip and shit on fucking random blogs bro that's not real but what if the kid looks just like oh and is from like the same neighborhood <laughs> i can't entertain shit like that bro i don't read the national Enquirer. i don't i don't know if that was in the Enquirer per se but what maybe page six <laughs> definitely in the Enquirer. <laughs> page six all right well the future remains to be seen <laughs> bad segue terrible but i mean we're looking forward to see what happens with the drake and Kendrick oh, thing, yeah, but then we're moving on to Future and Gunna. Right. So I was doing a news segue. I got it. The future. I got it. Wasn't sure it went over your head. No, no, no. And Wait, was... everyone's been breaking down lyrics. I wasn't sure. I, I don't need it. <laughs> you don't need a Rob Markman no, for this no, one? No, no. There was okay. a Gunna at Drake's house. Got you. Uh, see? No. <laughs> Come on. I thought you said not, see? I thought that's what you just said. All right. That's what you just said. Anyways, Future and Gunna are going back and forth. Oh, God. How did this start? This is not my this, expertise, so I'm fine happens, coming in here without information. This is what happens when, you know, beef is going on or, or like, you know, a battle is happening. Then you get people in the crowd that's be like, yo, but what he laughing at? He laughing too hard. Yeah. It's that type I, of shit. This is that I don't insert myself into this. Yeah. Which, by the way, side note, we don't have to talk about it. I do want to see uh, Game and Ross go back and forth, but neither here nor there. I do too. On, on records? We predicted that years and years and years ago. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. And we could finally settle our dispute. I don't know if we uh, game going to tear. You got game game is going to tear him up, <laughs> and I love Ross, but nah. I would uh, game different, bro. In the Ross can make better music. I'm not arguing yeah. that. Yeah, but that's a different arena. Game is going to tear Ross apart. You see, Ross has been quiet. He'll be loud with Drake, but with game, nah. <laughs> Ross is Ross is old enough. 
I you know, would, I would I want to see that. You guys think and so? Just so we could get some 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 game records with that energy on it. You guys think Kendrick dropping four songs in two days was crazy? Yeah. Game is gonna drop fifty records in one day. Yeah. He's been writing about Ross his whole career, <laughs> his whole life. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually hope to see that one um, manifest itself um, on record. It'll but, be good to get some game some game records. Yeah, we, yeah. And listen, game disses people for no reason. If he has a reason, it's gonna go left. Yeah. Um, anyways, though, can someone inform me about this Gunna and Future thing? This is not my wheelhouse. Well, I thought they were friends. I thought Atlanta was, Kendrick said Atlanta's all together. He said that they're all there for, to just take the sauce. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know what this, uh, I didn't know about this until it, Julian walked in. This is like residual falling out from the thug trial. And I think, uh, Future is caught up and feels a way about Gunna being out while Thug remains in this situation. I think there's still some division amongst that whole crew. Why didn't he just say that before then? Because he has a mixtape coming out and Gunna has an album he's going to say it? Why didn't you say it before? And they're both dropping tonight. It's so giving PR. Yeah, yeah. To me. They're both dropping yeah. tonight. They're probably friends. This is probably nothing. So Gunna I'm sure had- Gunna's fine with all the uh, Thug is inside jokes and was like, Future, just say something. I'll say something back. I think this is behind the scenes bullshit. I mean, uh, I wouldn't say bullshit, but it's not going to hurt the situation. Yeah, I think they are in cahoots, as the whites would say. I don't know about cahoots, because I don't think Future Future doesn't need that. Not right now. Nor does Gunna, but I think they're both a little worried if these were the release dates, what they have to have to deal with. The fact that they're dropping music right now is brave of them. When not knowing what's about to happen between Drake and Kendrick, I, I wouldn't drop an R&B song right now. <laughs> I wouldn't drop shit. Taylor is, is, is shook right now. Yeah, she's still number one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so Taylor, nah, she's not losing no sleep over this shit. Taylor uh, Swift would have definitely moved her album release if it was happening this Friday. Nah. Nah. Well, well, why she would have moved it? I think this is pretty fucking big with Kendrick and Drake going back and forth. You think I think that, this is the only thing that could so ever get if Taylor, Taylor had Swift an album to move. coming out tonight. You think she would move it? I think she would have been moved it if they had that on the calendar before we knew. Didn't her album come out the same day as Futures and Metros? That that started this whole thing. I'm pretty what, sure. What what, no. what point would that be? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's the best. I don't think it was the same day. No, I don't think it was. Even if it was, who cares? Sure. I'm saying two different they, audiences. If Taylor had this date and had not announced it, I think she would step back for a second. Mm. It's a lot going on. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think her audience is at all impacted by what's going on. Well, looking at Gunna's track list, we have, uh, what do we have here? 20 records, a uh, couple features, few features, uh, one from Offset, and then Leon Bridges in a Roddy Rich feature. A uh, Roddy Rich feature? Oh, Normani as well. That feels, what is, that feels what like is Roddy Richman up to? I miss him. Me too. I like Roddy, but he just had a few duds. And I don't mean that disrespectfully. He said they were duds. Mm. I've been waiting for some new Roddy music. I think it's possible to put out a dud and still be great. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited to hear the, the Roddy joint. It's also hard to when your debut album is that good with that many hits. It's hard to top it. I mean, the second one just fell flat. Like it just, it just wasn't good, which he said in an interview. I'm glad he took this time to just step aside and make people miss him. Um, but Gunna coming back this quick is, is kind of crazy. Interesting. Yeah, to say the least. I mean, I'm sure he was just. But this is a mixtape, though, right? No, Futures no, his is, is an mixtape. album. Futures is Futures, a mixtape. Future has put out fucking three, <laughs> three albums in two months. Yeah, he's cooking. But he's one of Work. those that I think has a thousand records on his hard drive that he forgot about, and he's then one night they plug it in, and they're like, "Oh, we should put this out." Yeah, let's just let's just empty this out. Yeah. So I think a mixtape makes sense. I think doing the second joint with Metro was also clearing out what they had. Mm-hmm. And let's just get the rest of the shit out the way. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, not really my, my thing, but I'm going to listen. I do think it's safe to say at some point there will be some shots directed Drake's way from the future mixtape. I don't know, because I feel like what Drake said on Family Matters deaded their beef. I don't think, I think we're going to get future and Drake music soon. Mm-hmm. He said on the well, show, said, we, we've I never said- had a real issue. It was someone else in his ear. And we know Drake to be very petty. So I feel like they had a full conversation on the phone already and him and Future are in a great place. Yeah, I mean, that was the one person through this all that I always said 
it seems like the door and the opportunity is still open for them to still work together. But, um, future. Sorry for going back to Kendrick, but since we're on Atlanta artists and speaking not like us, do you think any Atlanta artist took that offensively? Took what offensively? When he was trying to break down that Drake goes to Atlanta to just grab from the culture and take it back. Do you think anyone from Atlanta would take that offensively? Like, you think we just let Drake come down here and steal our sauce and then leave? He even was like, yo, 2 Chains knows it, but he won't say it. Like, if I'm an Atlanta artist, I could see how someone could get offended at that. You saying Drake just came down here and robbed us and then left and we just sitting here like, no, we like Drake. It's because it wasn't true. <laughs> it's not what he did. But I'm saying, as an Atlanta artist, I could see someone shooting back at Kendrick. What the fuck are you talking about? We didn't let him do anything. Nah, I'm not shooting back because of that. I don't think that's, that warrants you to shoot back because you didn't like that line. Like, I mean, you could say something about it, but in terms of getting the booth and make a record based around that, that's just like, all right, now somebody else wants to jump in on this shit. And it's just, that's when I'm, I'm off it. I'm, at that point, I'm just like, once that starts I, happening, I'm, I'm cool. I think Kendrick got lucky on how that was perceived because he had the momentum and because it was Drake and everyone couldn't wait to call him a culture vulture. That could have went another way. Knowing Atlanta and the pride that they have, that they is well fucking deserved, the mm -hmm. Atlanta pride. Mm -hmm. To say some Canadian came down here and stole our sauce and left it, like, what you yeah. trying to say about us? Yeah. That scheme could have went like another we way. Like, sit back and watch that happen. Yeah, like, what like the fuck? Happened. Atlanta would never let that happen. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> so, I don't know. Which is why that was just crazy to begin with, but I get it. It's a battle. Say, say whatever. Fuck it. Well, either way, the gun of future beef is not one I'm really looking towards. Now, hold on now, because when it was Gun and Thug's album coming out around the same time, we see where everybody stood on 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 which side was the better project. Mm -hmm. Who do we think we had a better project, Future or Gunner? Gunner. I, again, because I think it's clearing the hard drive out after the last two Metro albums. I don't think it's a fair comparison. I think it's going to be a lot of throwaway joints on this Future mixtape and Gunner, I think, put together an album. So I'm, I'm going to go with Gunner. I just don't think it's a fair fight. <sighs> I don't know, man. Future. I like Future that, more. Gunna's last album was fire. Oh, no, it was. But I mean. <laughs> you think he's coming back this quick with some bullshit? I think when Future has the opportunity to just make a mixtape and like just let records go and there's no like, I mean, there's still a direction. It's still like, mm. you know, but it's not so overthought. It's just like joints here. Yeah. I think that's tough to, that's tough to beat when you're talking about just a mixtape of Future's records that. He just put together? Nah. Does one of one That's have tough. the um, producers yet on Wikipedia? Because Maul had a very interesting point at the beginning of this entire thing when Gunna came out. We saw that, that clip. And Maul had said, yo, I don't know who in Atlanta is going to work with him. Like, fuck what the public thinks. Is mm -hmm. he going to get features from people in Atlanta? Is he going to work with Atlanta producers? Yeah. Now that A Gift and a Curse went crazy, he had a number one record, seems like people are starting to like Gunna more. Mm-hmm. Niggas want to eat, man. Niggas want to eat. So niggas like, yo, I get that see... beef shit, but it's like, yo, fam, we could bust a bag together, nigga. I don't care about none of that I shit. see Normani. I, I see Leon Bridges. I see where he's trying to go with different sounds. But who's the producers on, yeah. on the next one? Uh, well, it, we only, it doesn't say on the next one, but on his return, uh, Turbo was definitely, it seemed to be the most involved with um, these records. So, and he looks like he's on at least the single one of the yeah. singles that came out for this upcoming one. But to your point, with a quick turnaround, this album, uh, A Gift and a Curse, came out June 16th last year. So not even a year, we're getting another album. And one that connected. Yeah. Usually people do that when shit doesn't connect. <laughs> right. So right, I'm looking forward to it. I like Gunner, though. I mean, you know, it, it remains to be seen if we got to completely do away with him. He made Damaris cry at the Barclays Center. That was cry. Crazy. What happened? Oh, no, you said someone was crying. Well, like, what's, like... Look at your narratives, bro. <laughs> we record this. Didn't you say you were crying or someone was crying? You said you said it shed a tear. Oh, yeah. I think I did. I yeah, think I right, I'm not making emotion. shit up. I think I, I might have said I was emotional, like seeing his return and everybody like accept him. Gotcha. Things like that. Possibly. I don't know. I don't remember mm. that, but I'm, I'm open to being wrong. <laughs> but it was a good show. Crying to fuck you None. mean is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's like this. This person needs some therapy. If you're crying the fuck you mean? It's like, all right, what's going on there? I mean, but what do you mean? Yeah, but like, but what's going <laughs> no, but, on there? No, home? but that ass. Like, what's going on in the house? Justin Bieber. Like, I was going to say SFB. <laughs> I mean, that is the, the entire point of therapy. What do you mean? And sometimes it's fuck you mean. 
Yeah. Yeah. Depending so it, 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 on the therapist. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Crying in a gun <laughs> show is fucking crazy. <laughs> like, yo, what? You could have stayed home. <laughs> like, like, no, that's the people that need to be there. Like, cry this shit out in the crib, in the shower somewhere, but like, don't come to the Barclays with the cries. Oh, please. For Gunner? Come on, man. You, you definitely cried when Oskino came out one time. One time. Wow. <laughs> to think that, to think Just that. one time. <laughs> <laughs> what song would it be? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't, not my tears. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You tell me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not fucking crying, man. It's crazy. Um, did you guys watch the greatest roast of all time, Tom Brady? I watch it live. I watched the highlights. As someone that has watched pretty much every roast that was on Comedy Central, I was nervous when they titled it this way. I agree with them. This was the greatest roast that ever happened. Yeah, this is amazing. Three hours long. The greatest, though? You haven't seen all the roasts to say this is the greatest. I've seen sets that are like the greatest. I mean, you could get down to Jamie Foxx on roast, but as Which a whole- Which one was Patrice O'Neill on? Patrice was on, um, oh God. Whose roast was that? William Shatner? No, William Shatner might have just been there. Am I? Uh, Charlie, Charlie Sheen. Sheen. Char oh, now that was the greatest roast of all time. Charlie That's Sheen one was crazy. <laughs> Pam Anderson one was crazy. Yeah. Rob Lowe was hilarious. Rob Lowe's was The crazy. Trump one was, nah, eh, that could have been funnier. David Be Bieber's was very good. Bieber's was good. But I don't know. When you get into like the Greg Giraldo, Patrice O'Neill phase, that's different. Franco's was pretty funny. Yeah. I love this one. But I think this one, one was crazy. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, I mean, at the, the height I mean, of Tiger couldn't Blood. Have, couldn't have picked a better time to put <laughs> him into the fire. Oh, my God. And no one laughed at my two and a half men joke I made on the last podcast. Mm, we probably didn't catch it. It was a lot of screaming. Dave Free and Kendrick with the kid, two and a half men. Oh, I caught that. Yeah. I giggled. Got it. I giggled. I mean, it's not funny if you have to repeat it. Yeah. But yeah. that is law. I lost, I lost sleep about it. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and Cole. <laughs> All right. All right. We yeah. almost made uh -oh. it. See, look, 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 like, no, we look at Dreamville it. Festival over there. No, I, I saw him at the beach, too. You no, know, I was going to say, you look at my king. While, <laughs> yeah. while you guys I are, saw him at the beach. While you guys yeah. are slinging I liked his, I liked his uh, briefcase with Be the laptop. Yeah, beating your wives and beating pedos. Look at our king. Oh, my God. Look beach life. Best life. Who took the photo? Who's, who's that with him? Whitney. I think the girl was with somebody. <laughs> Uh, stop. I think the girl was nah. with somebody. I think he was by or, himself. Or was that one of those time cameras with the tripod? I'm just trying to throw smut on his jacket uh, to yo, like, get him into the beef. Someone this said, is, this is, someone said, uh, this is why I love like Cole Fit. They're so obnoxious. Someone said, now Drake, this is how you take photos with an underage girl. <laughs> <laughs> what? Exactly. Like why bring that up? It's fucking insane. I hate the internet so much. I love uh, it. Anyways. Cole would be on a beach with a fucking laptop and a briefcase. Yeah. Maybe he's that's exactly the truth in the what visa. J. Cole would be doing. You don't think that'd be a great place to write? No, that's a, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. That's exactly what he would be doing. I'm sure he a great 32 came out of that, came out of that entire. Oh place. no, for sure. Whatever that shit is plugged into, <laughs> I know it's some shit for sure. Writing without Wi-Fi, you know it's crazy. <laughs> but it's crazy because I don't want to hear that shit. Stop. I don't want to hear what it. What if he talks about just reflecting on a beach and doesn't say he's the greatest? I don't want to hear that shit, man. That's fine. You're bugging. You don't have to. I don't want to hear that shit. I just can't, bro. That's cold, man. That was... We thought he was one of them, man. It's just... Ah. Well, he picked a beautiful spot. This looks incredible. Oh, no. it's a, Listen, that's some super cool shit that he's doing. Let, let me be very clear. That is some, some peaceful... I'm chilling. I'm not with a bunch of niggas. I'm chilling. I'm not mad at that. But whatever he cooking up in that brief, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> whatever he cooking up in that briefcase. In that brief, I don't want to hear what he what he cooking up in that briefcase. See, that's he what left I'm there saying. with that's 15 voice mad, notes. Man. Yeah, like, I'm just like, ah. Oh. And you know they try to find what beach that is and shoot it up. Come, you know, shoot you know, up the beach. You know, no, but after <laughs> you left, you know how upset you got to be to shoot up the. You know, beach. you know somebody sprayed up those rocks for that's TikTok. Fucking crazy, man. <laughs> No, the fans are crazy. You know, one you haven't noticed that in the last no, week? No, trust me. I've noticed Yo. that in the, the last 48 hours, I've noticed it extremely how crazy people are. Yo, I think, I think, um, crazy. insane. We, do we owe an apology to the Barbs? Why? No, no hell no. The llamas? I don't baby. know, man. We, the I'm, llamas no, I'm just saying all of us. I think we the all need to look in the new, mirror. Though. Those are all new recruits. These no. niggas ain't real Kendrick From fans the like moment that. before. They no, just don't like Drake. Yeah, no, that's before. True. That's all it is, before man. Before the They just don't like Drake. These niggas happened. ain't real Kendrick fans like before that. Before the beef even started happening, when Like That dropped, 
the llama fans came out like immediately. No, they they he has a gang of them, and they're the worst. I mean, he sells four hundred thousand anytime exactly. he walks. Like, he has he a family. No, he's a he huge family. He has a family. One hundred percent. But they're not. How many like, arenas? He has the highest. They're not like tour. how they are right now. These people that are on this, the shit that they own on the internet right now. These are just people that just don't no, like Drake. They're they don't like Drake, and they're fans of the internet. Yeah. They're fans of like just doing what the internet yeah. is doing at the time. But I'm not and talking I'm saying about them. I'm talking about the actual thing. should apologize to the Barbs because we all became Barbs not for the right reasons. Barbs are true and loyal to the soil. Mm -hmm. No matter what happens, they're going to act this way no matter what. Mm -hmm. We're, we've all been acting like Barbs the last week for no real reason. Mm -hmm. These are our guys. Cool. Who's yeah. been acting like a Barb? Mm -hmm. the, the whole right. genuine population. Yeah. <laughs> I've been acting like a Barb? I Me mean, screamed. Barb scream. Uh, online? <laughs> like in this room. In I this scream at y'all no matter what we talking about because y'all just fucking piss me off sometimes with the dumb shit y'all say. <laughs> I, I, I'm a Barb for fucking Chris Brown too. Like, I'm saying we're, screamed at we're about all that Barbs dumb now. We, we owe them an apology. We became them. And no, not, not have, for anything we're really loyal to. No, nah, I'm not online DMing people, cursing them out. So I'm not a part <laughs> of that Barb shit at all. Not my, not my, not my, not my thing. I don't do that. But I'll talk shit here with y'all all day. Let's okay, well, back to talking shit and focused on Tom Brady. Uh, favorite sets from the roast. You guys have any? Nikki. Yeah, Nikki Glazer was great. Um, Shout out to women. Yeah, she was funny. Shout I mean, out of three hours, it is tough to say that the standouts were obviously Nikki Glazer. Yeah. Um, Tony Hinchcliffe. And Tony Hinchcliffe were incredible. But I think even like the athletes did okay. Julian Edelman was amazing. He was hilarious. Bill Belichick, even though you could tell he was nervous as fuck and he was out of his element, killed. Well, well who wrote it for him? Well, they have a, a anyone, no matter what you know they said, they sent them these jokes three, oh, three yeah, years ago. Oh, yeah, but there's like, even with that, though, you still have to be able to perform and deliver. Like, I, I was uh, listening to Flagrant because Schultz was telling, recapping this whole moment. Schultz did great, by the way. And he, yeah, he killed. Schultz killed. But he had the worst set. He closed it. Like, by that time, you're crossing off all your jokes. Like, how many things can you really say about Giselle at that point? Mm -hmm. So, like, no, he was, I know he, he smoked it with Gronkowski, Edelman, uh, and one other name. And he said, that sounds like a law firm, not a receiving uh, yeah. core. And oh, you're going to need one with your divorce. I, Schultz smoked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, but he said um, Edelman and uh, Bledsoe were going to, they were doing spots at the cellar. Like they were, they were practicing their set. So mm. he said it was cool working with athletes of that caliber. They kind of had the mindset where to become a great athlete, you watch game tape, you do the thing, you see great right. people doing it, and then you go out there and try it yourself. So they kind of treated this whole experience like that. And he said, that's, that's why he thinks they did so well. That's dope. I mean, cause you know, you can write jokes, but if you don't have that timing, yeah, mm -hmm. that comedic timing. So you need to you need to be on stage a couple times and get those jokes off and understand when the audience is laughing, when to come back in with the next joke. Like it's just so that's dope to know that they actually took time to hit some comedy clubs and 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 work on the material. And this one being live, I'm not sure because I've never been to a roast live, but some of like the podcasts and interviews I've seen, sometimes they'll redo jokes or redo a set. These athletes had to do that shit live. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's tough. Mm -hmm. They couldn't take a break to be like, all right, let me reset and do mm -hmm. something. So Randy Moss was hilarious. Everyone was great in this entire thing, yeah. which is rare with roast because sometimes the celebrities really suck, mm -hmm. even with the writers that they have. Yeah, Like I, Tony Hitchcliffe used to write for the older roasts and I think he was on Rogan talking about um, him writing for Ann Coulter and mm -hmm. like how much she would refuse to take any joke that he would write her mm -hmm. and then went up there and bombed like he could not fucking believe. Mm -hmm. Not one fucking laugh. Is this mm -hmm. the first, is this the first roast that was on Netflix? Yes. Yeah, and live, yeah. yeah. Which I hope they keep because I mean, on Comedy Central, you could only take it so far. Yeah. The Justin Bieber crazy. one, they tried to push a little bit for cable, <laughs> but mm -hmm. if it stays on Netflix, I think we have a whole new world of roast battle. Yeah, like, I mean, they they let the two of our favorite words, they said they went for it so it was great news listen, jokes everything i, I commend i commend real. kim kardashian for going because you know if i'm kim kardashian and i'm going i'm gonna be the butt of a lot of jokes no pun ah that was good nice i actually didn't even see i didn't put that oh, i'm such a genius um <laughs> Yo, getting i don't even know my own powers getting frustrated at god like, like oh why do you keep doing this you don't even know how to use your own powers <laughs> um i i respect her for going even though she bombed and they booed, she held it down and laughed through all the jokes about her. Yeah. That's commendable. Yeah. But they tore Tom Brady the fuck up. Yeah, and getting, and getting like, 
like defensive and at a gross, like and start. That's 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 worse. The only person I've seen do that was Ludacris at Justin Bieber's roast. <laughs> yeah, Ludacris was at the end of that day. Is going. Oh, I didn't know they were making jokes about me. I thought this was about Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Ludacris looked like he had never even heard of a roast in his life. Yeah. He was only there because he was on Justin's first record ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he did okay right. when he went up. Mm -hmm. I think he might have went first. Mm -hmm. And after that, was sitting there like, yo, what the f you want to fight? Like, yeah. I didn't know this was a, a, yeah, nah. a joke. Why Everybody, you say me? I, no, I thought this was a Justin Bieber <laughs> roast. Why you say fuck me? Why you say yeah. fuck me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brady did say, uh, and I, le I learned this again from listening. Brady said there were two things that were off limits. It was his kids and talking about the Belichick massage thing. And well, he he did go up to um, Jeff Ross and yeah said, "Don't say that again." Like in the middle of it when it was live, which yeah. I don't think they cut out because I watched. No, that was live. They didn't cut that shit. What did, out. What did Jeff say? Jeff made a, a tag, uh, a, like a tag joke about um, the massages. So, mm. which is true. Tom Brady, when he went to the Patriots, went up to Robert Kraft, mm -hmm. and this is a true quote: "said I'm the best decision that this organization has ever made," mm -hmm. which is a true quote. Mm -hmm. Jeff Ross was quoting that, and then at the end said, "But would you like a massage?" Because Robert Kraft got caught yeah. at like a nasty massage parlor yeah. in Fort Lauderdale, wherever the fuck it was. Like, mm -hmm. what? Why Billy? What, yeah. you, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't even go. That's there. still insane when you think about it. Like, as much money as Robert Kraft has, he was at the. You nasty. left your house and your crib to drive to this fucking massage. The thrill, I guess. I think at that point, like, you're so rich, there's no thrill of a whore coming to your house. Nah. You got to go to her element. Nah, man. That's going to the trap. Going to the massage <laughs> trap is fucking crazy. But massage when you work trap. For, when you work for Billy. <laughs> but that happened so early in that the roast. That shit was owned by the Zoes for sure. 100%. <laughs> that moment happened so early in the roast that people thought like Tom was kind of threatening to shut down the whole thing after that. Because that was a very hard line. Do not mention that or his kids. Um, speaking of Edelman, I was watching a clip of his podcast on the way here. He had Drew Bledsoe on. Everyone knows that there was... a obviously tension with Brady and Belichick, but it's not as serious as people think. Mm -hmm. The real tension is Belichick and Robert Kraft. That's, mm -hmm. that's past Kendrick and Drake. Yeah. That's on site. Mm -hmm. So they were in the green room, like the whole Patriots team having a good time. Brady and Belichick were having a good time. Everyone's drinking. Robert Kraft walked in and they said, yo, you could, the energy in there was fucking, you could rip a piece of paper with that energy. Mm -hmm. Everyone walked over to Kraft and Bledsoe was like, well, I was just sitting there because Belichick was telling a story, and if I kept walking, he would have been telling the story to nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't even know what Bill was saying. I just wanted to stand next to him because everyone was like, Mr. Kraft, Mr. Kraft. Yeah. And Bill was, he's 10 toes. Absolutely. He's not walking across that green room. No. And he's, but <laughs> Bill had so was just like, what were you saying, Bill? Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck here now. <laughs> yeah, I'm <at> listening. <laughs> That's funny. Though. Edelman has a great podcast, by the way. Julian if, Edelman? Yeah, if anyone is into football specifically or sports in general, Julian Edelman's podcast. Gronk is on there a lot, but it is mostly um, Edelman's. You were the first, really? Oh. Yomi I mean, was Yom's, the first Yom's engineer. alumni. <laughs> Where do they shoot that at? Uh, WTF, they started the Dave Calhoun set, and now they shoot out of Edelman's. Okay, I was about to say, it definitely yep. looks like a different set now. Interesting. Yeah. Um, well, do we have voicemails? We do. You've got mail. Uh, in the spirit of rap beef and everybody fucking the same women, this one falls right it's, into... It's not rap beef. That's the industry. True. That's called living. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's, exi that's existing in this world. Hey, fuck with the pod heavy. Um, but I need some advice. So I'm in a weird predicament. My little homie, I haven't seen him in two, three years. Asked me to kick it. Uh, we both played ball together. Uh, I moved, I came back home. Uh, you know, I haven't seen him in a while, but I'm in a strange predicament. Uh, his girl right now used to be, you know, one of my eaters back in the day. Uh, we broke it off. Everyone's moved on. How do I tell him that? He's he's been with her for a while. I have a girl now too. He's talking about ha maybe having a double date. I don't know what to tell him because I don't want to be corny saying, "Hey, don't talk to her," because you know <clears throat> how we were moving back then. But I also don't want him just finding out on his own. So what should I do? This is another easy one to me. Like. So wait, his friend. 
is now dating one of his old eaters. Yeah. And if for those of you listening that don't know what an eater is, that's one of his uh, former head nurses. And I could tell by his side, <laughs> it was one of his favorite eaters. Yeah. Once he said we we parted ways and went on different paths. Yeah, that means you had to was... heal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you had to heal. He might be mad at his friend. That's what's yeah, really yeah, happening yeah, here. Yeah. That's why he don't know if he want to go or like, not. Damn. He's yeah, about yeah. to figure out what she yeah, like. Yeah, he, he don't want his friend to know that he know her. That's what it is. And a lot of time, never mind. Go ahead. Uh, Niggas be like, oh, that was my eater. It was not your eater. Y'all were both having regular consensual sex. Y'all just weren't in a relationship. That was not your eater. Eater is very <laughs> specific, and you niggas do not be having eaters. Stop. But continue. Nah, yeah, niggas be having on. eaters, though. Uh, niggas <laughs> be having all. eaters, but not all <laughs> niggas. Not no, all niggas I'm be with you. Eaters. I'm with you on that. Were, all. You were her eater, too. Y'all were having sex. Y'all like, was, was eating each other. 100%. Yes, y'all were having sex. That was not your eater. It was not you pull up and yeah. she just mop you off and you leave. Not like, everyone experienced her, her real appetite. Yeah. Is what it is. Yeah. I don't know. He sounds defeated. He sounds like Drake on the hard part six. I mean, you that's because I think he really like like that girl a little bit. Obviously, he needs to tell his friend. Does he? Yes. He said he hasn't spoken to his friend in years. They just linked up again. Yeah, how's it and, going? And him and the girl, girl. Are, are him, him and the girl are serious. Oh, okay. So, so we should go on a double date and sit there for that yeah, awkward he, experience. Yeah, he said double date, then it's like, yeah, you you gotta tell him, but it's like, mm. or just dub the double date. That could be the or, other. Well, tell route. him before the date, obviously, right? You don't tell him what you. You can. don't do the date period, and you just tell him. Yeah. If that's your actual friend, if y'all are not really friends and just ran into each other and was like, yo, we should get up and let's bring the girls or whatever. You're, that's that's just talk. You don't have yeah, to do I, that. You don't have might, to honor that. I might just be like, yo, I'm busy. Like I me and you could do that. something on the solo and then I'll tell you like, yo, fam, you know, show you wit. Me and her. You ain't got to, don't say she's your old eater. Don't do that. But you could definitely be like, yo, we have, you know, we, we know each other. We dated or we, you know, we messed around before, like. But, but don't don't just go out there like yo your your girl that you in love with yo that's my old eater no I, don't word it that way yeah that's that's a fight <laughs> and now you want to fight like I get it no then you're corny you if still you got to fight the, you're corny if you go to your friend to give him that information about yo that's my old eater no do you be like yo I just let you know like I, I used to talk to her yeah the shit wasn't nothing I don't know what's going on with y'all but I didn't want you to find out later yeah especially if you're doing double dates he's still gonna be crushed if he likes that girl yeah but. <laughs> What's the other alternative? He finds out. So what do you do in that situation? And if we're going off the hypothetical like you with that the, you, with, you with your friend. I haven't old. seen my friend in a long time. Right. And you do I his... plan on like st still hanging out with him? Is there a reason? Spaces? I mean, even if you even if you don't hang out, let's say you 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 bump into an old friend and you like, yo, listen, let's hang out, then whatever, whatever. And he's like, yo, you know, before we do that, the girl that you with now. Me and her have a little history. Like, do you still want to go on the date? I'm not going on the date, period. I'm deading that regardless of if I'm going to tell him or not. If we continue to hang out and No, no, chill, no, I'm saying you're with the eater. You're him. You're the... Oh, I, wait. Okay. No, you're I want Mr. you to tell me. Peter. Yeah, you want your friend to tell you. Hell but yeah. are you still going to do the double but date? But why would you want your friend... But even if... Okay, taking out the no. double date part. Why would you want no. your friend... <laughs> I'm not doing that. Taking take hell out, no, I'm not taking out that. the double what date. The fuck? I had to think about you asking me that question. Of course, I'm not doing that. I was like, wait, he really asking trying, me if I'm doing the? Yeah, I was trying to line you up. Because then I was like, wait, which person am I here? Nah, I'm not doing the double date, no matter what character I am. In. You, <laughs> you, <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, if you with the eater though. No, I'm not doing that fucking double date. You fucking crazy? Yeah, but if you're the guy with the eater, you don't know that your homie used and to smash. And he tells no, me. He's he oh tells yeah, no, what? That's crazy. No fucking way. All right, do you break up with date. the girl? <sighs> I don't know. Niggas don't be wanting to leave. <laughs> Niggas don't be wanting to leave. I don't know. That's, so, that's the stupidest fucking reason to leave somebody. Y'all yeah, always know. complaining y'all can't find fucking love, but some nigga you ain't seen in three fucking years had some history with your girl. And I was like, you know what? Hey, you were perfect for me now, but you sucked the dick that I that I know before that I was in a locker room. I'ma keep you it tall. Go. If a chick I'm liking and she I find out she fucked one of my homies, it's clipped. It's no way. But no what's what's way. a what's a homie is what I'm really asking. Y'all was cool. That's why I didn't give a, a nah, real. Y'all was really close at one point, but then you know, we adults. We grown shit happens. I mean, moved out of town for a couple years for a job, whatever. I come back to the city and we bump into each other and like, yo, what's good? I ain't see you in a minute. Yo, what's up? Let's get up. Let's go. Like you, y'all was hanging out tough at one point. It's your boy. Like, yo, I, this is my man right here. Like, and this been your yeah, bitch for two years and you getting rid of her. I ain't gonna lie, it's tough, man. Certain <laughs> dudes, weird. certain dudes. Certain dudes, I don't want to say, nah, nah, 
It's certain dudes. If I find out you're that, what? I'm not talking about certain dudes. Hell I'm talking about a regular stand up, re- regular stand up. Even some of my friends. I'm not, nah, I can't do it. If can't somebody's it. gonna be a part of my life during our relationship, nah, I can't. You can't do I that. I can't do that. There's no way. If you if you it's somebody I know party and I life. see if I dap somebody like no, no, I know no, but you this was is good. like your real friend, cool. bro. You don't see each other. But y'all don't see each other not because y'all not cool. It's like you know we adults. We grown. We have. Different- I mean, I'm I'm saying this. I'm on your side. I wouldn't fucking. Get out of here. Chaz, ugh. <laughs> yeah, the way y'all care. Mm, never, yeah, nah, nothing. Fuck nothing. That. I <laughs> ain't nothing doing respectful it. is about to come on my mouth. Y'all got to get that together. That is not okay. But they've been together for two years? They've been together for two years. You've been with somebody for two years. Man, that's tough. That's fucking weird, Even bro. if it ain't my friend. Even if it's somebody I just know. And I know he's like, him? I'm not. You used to fuck with him? Nah. Because girls do it too. specific people. There's specific people. I don't want no bitch that they even breathe. This is around. what I'm saying. But I'm just talking about in general. Not They don't have to be a nasty person. It's just Oh, a no, no, no. I'm saying it's the, it depends on who the person. If it's my friend, I come on. That's my boy. I can't do that. We can't do that. That's just we. That's just asking for shit to be awkward now. Like, yeah. no matter how much I've grown with, if we all in the same space, it's, it's just naturally going to be awkward. I'm fine with like associate shit, whatever, but like... Let's put it to birthday dinner status. If there's 10 seats at the birthday dinner and he's going to be there. No, that's too close. Nah, no fuck. Like, no, <laughs> that's, there's no way that's yeah. happening. That's too close. Yeah. Nah, I ain't doing But it. associate shit, like, come nah, on. That's if, you, if you're in your 30s that's and different. living in the same city your whole life, it's bound to fucking happen. And you may end up liking that girl. Mm-hmm. And you just may know somebody that she dealt with. And you might be cool. Like, if I see you, what's up? Yeah. But when it comes to like no, I've dated our that, lives. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> yeah. But if it's a specific type of somebody, ah, we can't be, nah, we can't have that in common. What's your that? Ex, what's that special type of somebody? Eater. So y'all kicking her out the crib? Y'all kicking your girlfriend out the crib? Like y'all live together? She gotta go because you found out she fucked y'all. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. crazy. Yes. Hell yeah. Meanwhile, mall. Hell yeah. Get out. All right. You wouldn't ask her, yo. Did you know if we were friends? Because if this it guy's been going, if this if guy's my friend, I, we can't be together. Years, had you used no to idea. fuck with my friend. We can't be together. But what if she had no idea? That's that's cool. I'm not right, saying so you that. kicking her out the crib that night. Like let not her gather that her night. things. No, not that night. She didn't like, fucking I'm not, know. I'm not gonna put her out in the street. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like we can't. We not together. We can't be together. Like this is not. That's my boy. Like we can't do it. That's all. It happens. I mean, what if she's been your your confidant for three years and you ain't even spoken to him? We can still be who's, cool. Who's the best friend now? We can still be cool. Man, suck my dick. We can still be cool. We can still be cool. Yo, we cannot still be cool. We can still be cool. We can still be cool as we can still fuck. the crib. It's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, it's not like I'm not going to see you and not say hello or you know, shit, shit like that. I'm not going to act like we complete strangers, but like we can't be together living yeah, together. Yeah, but the last two years, forget about it. Yeah, like, <laughs> like no, I'm not doing yeah, I was that. I was ring shopping, but nah, fuck yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm off Ring that. shopping. Forget two when years? I called her my best friend. My sort of best friend came back in town. No, it's not even that. It's just that if that's somebody you cool with and you close with, that's your boy. Like it's just I, it's gonna be awkward. It's definitely gonna be awkward. That's gonna be some awkward shit forever. I don't so, give a fuck how mature you think you are. Advice, either way, cancel the double date, but do it in like a nice way. Like, oh nah, let's let's do something else. Let's just catch up. Feel out the situation. Ask certain questions. I'll and then you have to let him know that y'all dealt with each other at one point. Back to the shit I'm you talking about. Don't let him know. Of course you are. If he if he's happy, he if he's, ha- if if he's, he's happy, if he's happy, if he's happy, he's happy for now. Until that secret comes out the closet, whenever it comes out the closet. Why we ain't see this nigga? We, me and him, have been together in peace for two years. I ain't even know you knew this nigga. First of all, did go back to whatever hole you, you know. My you know, fucking best man holiday in. is a movie, right? That doesn't happen in real life. Mm. <laughs> in the best man, roll credits, no oh. more sequel. Mm. Mm. That was completely different. That was no. Nope. How the fuck that they held com- down a secret the entire time until Bro, wedding day? They were best friends, like best friends. Best, best friend. Harper, I'm talking about the nigga. That, they only say friends because he got drafted to the Giants and Harper was trying to write a book. They would have went other ways. They stayed in New York. No, they wouldn't have. They were best friends. They had a whole friend group. That's completely different. That was completely fucking different. I'm talking about somebody that like, oh, I didn't even know this person. If if we've been together for two years and I didn't even know that you knew this person, they might be important to you. That ain't that, they ain't that fucking important enough to interrupt our day-to-day life. We might see them at the wedding and we might see them like at a family reunion or some shit that we both know people at. This right. is not a part of so our regular day-to-day life. Let's say they get married. Put yourself in this situation. Mm. 20 years down the line, you find that out. Your best friend 
and your man. He's not my best friend. If I ain't seen him in two years or talked to him in two years and you don't know who the fuck he is. We're going off this friend. hypothetical that they but are reconnecting. He he's that back that in his town. Best friend. He said that was his little homie that he ain't seen in a while. He didn't say that was his best little friend. Little homie never came out of his mouth. I swear to God he okay. said that was my little homie. All right. Well, I mean, sometimes you got to fuck your little homie's <laughs> girls. <laughs> Let him know who the big homie is. Let him know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the big homie. You hear me? <laughs> Drake tactic. <laughs> I'm the big homie. You little homie, nigga. She told me. Yeah, nah, as a man, like, if that's if that's your big homie, nah, you can't. If that's your big homie, nah, you can't. That's Either way, though. You Either can't way, go on with life clear. and then find out later. He's going to be more crushed. Now two people he cares about held a secret mm -hmm. against him. That's fucked. Now it's fuck both y'all. Yeah. I think people need to understand. This just goes give throughout me, life. Always give me the choice. Sometimes, sometimes, there's so much miserable, like just misery in life. Enjoy your happiness. I, sometimes I know, you don't give need me to know choice. everything. I've learned that the hard way. Some shit that I went searching hard for, the what? guest 700 passwords, phones was locked for 24 hours. Some shit I didn't need to see and some shit I didn't need to know. And oh, I wish that, that I didn't. That's, and that's what I've been saying about this whole beef too. Living the lie. Sometimes it's better to live in the lie than to go investigate and you learn. The more you learn, the less you're going to probably like that person. Yo, which is cool. I don't need to know every last fucking nasty thing my girl has ever done. Please don't tell me. Right. But if it's my fucking friend, That's all. Jesus Christ, give me at least the choice. Maybe I am happy enough to be like, yo, fuck it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can live but like, like Whit, Kendrick, and Dave. Like it's, It seems to be working fine. Yeah. Give me the choice. That's sick, but yeah, I get it. <laughs> Never, never work. Saying that, that dynamic's fine. Poly Lang Gang. Nah, fuck that. Polang Gang? <laughs> nah. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> but do you see the difference, though? I don't need to, I see, I don't no, need I to know everything. I but I would like to know if you to know everything, but if it's my friend or my little homie or, you know, somebody that I'm cool with, we haven't seen each other in a couple of years because whatever, but you know that like, me and this dude is cool. Like, it's my, obviously, I bump into him and I'm like, yo, Let's do, like bring your bring wifey. I bring wifey. We go out to eat. obviously we that cool. So it's like that would be the time to be like, yeah. So about that, I have a history with your friend. Because imagine if your girl don't even hold it down and she she hug your friend before you introduce and mm -hmm. like know his name. That's wild. That's wild. That's wild. It like happens. You, now you sitting at Applebee's like, no, we're not doing this two for twenty. Yeah, no, nah. I'm leaving. <laughs> Do one for ten. <laughs> she'll she'll take hers to go. Actually, she has to go and pack. <laughs> that sample platter, yeah, yeah. perfect for her. Yeah, perfect for her. She's taking that to go. Everybody's sampled here except yeah. for me, apparently. Fuck out of here. Yeah, but nah. Uh, what was his question? Does he tell? Tell. And I said yes. Yes, he has to tell him. He has to. I wish we, we wrapped. You don't I need to write that. I wish she would. I wish she would. <laughs> no, I wish she right. would tell him. I wish the girl would tell. I Why? feel like it would be better coming from her than coming from the home. He might put extras on it. Yeah, niggas put sauce on shit. Like, <sighs> see, I'd rather hear it from the friend. Really? It's yeah, hurt coming from your girl because yes, and I think I women like women will down coming from the home. women will downplay it even more. I think there's corny guys out there that would throw sauce on it, but that's not really your friend. If I'm talking to one of my friends, I think they will gently tell me that information and be accurate with it. Gently? You want your, you want your homie to tell you gently yes. that he- I want him to rub my back he while he tell me, yes. that, he, yeah. that he had your queen? Just, just rub my hair while you're doing it. <laughs> the girl folded Touch like my a beard. <laughs> Cause a girl will say some bullshit like, yeah, no, like we just ran into each other one night. They'll say some bullshit yeah, like you don't that. don't play with me. And he ran through me one night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least, your, at least one night. your homie will say, yo, Used to talk to her. We used to fuck. One really like that. Every now and then, we talk. Like it, it really wasn't a thing. They'll give you the real. It's not. You're not gonna like it. Yeah. I'm not gonna ask details. Yeah. And I don't think my friend would tell me details. Right. He would be like, yeah, we we used to fuck around. Well, it wasn't you. anything crazy at all. Like it did. We haven't spoken a really long time. She's cool. Like just wanted to give you a heads up. I know she. A cool. woman will lie. Cool. I a know woman will lie. Used to blame. Straight up, kids. be like, like I don't even like count that. Like I don't even. 
remember it like that. That's what Damaris tries. I, just, oh. I shed my new pussy, whatever the fuck she's. I never said. Like, you shed never my said new pussy. That. You said like it was like it was like cicadas. You said we shed pussy like every yeah, yeah. seven months. Yeah, we shed uh, skin cells every seven every seven years. You're a completely different person. Yeah, she's a, a fucking different pussy every seven. Nah, years. I remember what happened in 2017. I ain't gonna lie. It was some shit going on that summer. <laughs> <laughs> you can't shed that. Yeah, you can't shed that. That no, stays no, no, on no. the walls. That stays. That stays. That's in it's a different type of paint. That is cemented in history. The summer only year I count is two. That's you ain't fuck me in 2016. Yeah. We ain't fuck. If you didn't fuck in 2016, in 26 summer took summer of 2016, the only summer everybody remember. If it didn't happen, then it never happened. Oh shit! There's some shit that happened after 2016 for sure, and before it, yeah, for sure. What? Yeah, no, it's life. Shed the pussy. Yeah. I remember that pussy that shed. What? What year your ID say you were born? What? That's the. That's how long you've been on this earth. When did you lose your virginity? You weren't born in 97. Anyway. She's <laughs> um. about to get that off. Hey, hey me too. <laughs> <laughs> Women will say some bullshit like, yeah, but it was nothing. Like what we have is more special. Like that doesn't make me that feel better. Make me nah, feel a girl better. is not really saying that to you if she I know. fucks your friend. <laughs> what is you, she saying? When you say his name, you hey, definitely got him with the who? Oh. What's his last name? Nah, see, once see, to nigga, me, that's nah, 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 nah. There's no once way you ask for a nigga last name, now see, I'm on my <laughs> right now. Stop playing with me. Moss. And then, <laughs> what's his then my mind is racing no even country. more. Like, how you you don't remember him? Like, oh, nah, like, he was the homie. He was who the else old? you don't remember? <laughs> he was the homie. Like, now, nah, real shit, though, there's really no way to say that. Like, You've if, been in that situation before. I've never how been did, in that situation. All right, so the guy that you were with, that you y'all were just eaters, and then y'all end up liking each other. He obviously was like he didn't give a fuck. Like, but was that his man? Like his homie? What? Okay. There's some mutants out here. That nigga's an X Men. <laughs> 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 that, that nigga shed skin every seven hours. <laughs> a nigga like that. <laughs> you said seven years to marriage? Nah, that nigga shed skin every seven hours. I did. Every Wolverine, seven commercials, he, he a new nigga. <laughs> he heals every wound in seconds. <laughs> That nigga's an X-Men for sure. What? I mean, I get it. I know how you could develop feelings for somebody you shouldn't be developing feelings for. I get that. But to then be like, yo, nah, fuck it. Like, we together? That's a different type of nigga. Boy. You don't have to get into too much detail. Did, have y'all, like, hung out? And it's cool? Like, Damn. Collectively? Damn. I love nah. it. Damaris might have that snapback. Because <laughs> only, only that snapback could have a nigga be like, yo, son, fuck it. Like, yo. <laughs> Yo, like only the snapback. She I shed had her you. skin every yeah, seven nah, days. Nah, it might be yeah, it might be seven commercials for the marriage too. <laughs> Yo, she that, that fuck it. Yeah, because that's the only thing where a nigga could be like, "Damn, me and homie exactly. cool. Clap. They got history." Yo, I don't even give a fuck. It's got to be for that snapback. It's only the snapback have niggas doing shit like that. Y'all Good not like you, group together, right? Don't piss me. I was in the group chat. That's confirmed. <laughs> we all communicate together. Oh nah, never she's happened. gangster. That's crazy. It, the Knicks are doing well. The Knicks are doing well. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for that segue. They snap back after that, that, uh, like, uh, the Knicks snap back. Time. Yeah. The Knicks snap back after Br Brunson almost looked like he was hurt at halftime. You notice every time we talk about the Knicks, Damaris goes like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she brought the topic up this time. <laughs> yeah, man, them niggas is wild. <laughs> the Knicks is wild. Yo, the Knicks is yo. Baby D say yo. I don't even know, but the Knicks is wild and they up two zero. I don't know what that means, but yo, is Brunson the greatest Knicks yeah. in playoff history or what? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but shout out to the Knicks, man. Up 2-0 on the Pacers. Uh, Josh the, Hart, rebound machine. The, the conference semifinals. Uh, the Knicks look great, man. The Knicks are playing it's, together. It's playing with, real it, was, it was shaky. It was shaky when Brunson looked like he may have hurt his, his, his groin. That was kind of shaky. Like New York almost motherfucking erupted last night. But he came back after halftime and uh, the Knicks were able to win. Shout out to the Knicks playing great. Hopefully they can uh, continue and get this shit done and, and get to the get to the car. Um, Prayers to OG. Finals. He had a bad. Uh, he pulled his hand. What I believe it pulled his hammy? hamstring. Yeah. He looked like a hammy. And I don't think that that's going to be a tight turnaround. That would at least be like two to three weeks. So if we're down him, that's that means that she was going to have to do a lot of minutes. Mitch is done. Done. Mitch is cooked. Yeah. That, like we're. I mean, this is just the residual of playing for a Tibbs coach team. Yeah. Like Hart has played every minute the last two games straight. He's played 48 minutes. I'm not going to lie. If 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 OG, I mean, OG is a, that's a loss. That's a big he loss for the Knicks. 28 and he only but, played, he put up 28 in he 28 kept us minutes. Afloat. <laughs> no, 100%. But I'm not mad at the idea of Precious getting those minutes. 
I'm not mad at that. I mean, there's no better time to prove yourself. Yeah, I'm not mad at I'm not I'm at, I'm not mad at Precious uh, coming off the bench for uh, OG. Even though OG is a big piece of what the Knicks are doing, but Precious is um he he had a, some really really good good games for the Knicks this season. So either way, I hope OG is good. Uh, I, I want to see the Knicks as healthy as they can be. Uh, Mitchell Robinson obviously is he's out. Julius is obviously out. So that's two big uh, two of their starters are um, already out. So. You know, we don't want to see the Knicks hurt anymore. But if OG can't go, I'm 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 not mad at Precious getting those minutes. I'm not what do you mad. what do you think about Julius just just like stand him at the top of the key as a diversion? Mm. One leg. That, that shoulder. That shoulder ain't gonna get it done. That's that shoulder. You can't you can't do much. <laughs> you can't do much, man. But the Knicks look good. Though. They playing together. Um, obviously, I think the fact that those guys know each other since college is obviously the chemistry that is yeah. carrying this thing right now. Um, no, but Knicks. And Brunson obviously is playing at an MVP Insane. level. Um, it's just been fun to watch watch him. And um, I just can't wait till that ticket comes across and they tell us how much they paid Jalen because he going to break the fucking bank. <laughs> and he fucking yeah. deserves it. He going to overcharge with Dude. what they did to the cold crush. He finished, sure. he finished fourth in MVP voting. Um, Jokic won again. Mm -hmm. I believe uh, Gilchrist finished fifth. It was kind of dicey. The Gilchrist? It was shy. Gilchrist at SGA. Gilgis, not Gil Gilgis. Gilgis. I thought you were talking about. How do you say his name? Michael Kidd Gilchrist. I'm about to say he finished fifth. <laughs> Michael Kidd Gilchrist? I'm about to say, what the fuck yes. did I miss? Had a solid year. <laughs> I didn't see any of that shit. No, but Shea Gil Gilgis, he finished fifth? I believe it was. Brunson finished fourth? Fourth, yeah. I don't like that. Brunson should have been top three at least. At fucking least. Oh, I lied. SGA finished second, and then it was uh, it was Joker, SGA, Doncic, Giannis, Brunson. Brunson was fifth. Tatum, uh, Anthony Edwards, Sabonis, and KD. Brunson was fifth. Yeah, crazy. Giannis over Brunson this year because Giannis received one first place vote, while Brunson received none, but had Which three is second crazy. place votes. Who who is the one person that voted for Giannis as the asshole in Milwaukee? Yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Brunson, Brunson deserved he deserved more votes than to finish fifth. Yeah. This this season he had was fucking incredible. Do we put um Josh Hart's jersey at least up in the rafters? Cause he told Reggie Miller, yo, they saying fuck you. You know that, right? That was incredible. <laughs> That's gangster. I it's fuck got, with Josh Hart. You have to put the Josh Hart jersey up there yeah. just for that. Shout out to the Knicks. Hopefully, again, man, I, I want to see them, you know, just keep this thing going. Um it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun to watch them close this shit out if they can get it done. Agreed. Um, on to Patreon? Ooh, yeah. Because oh. I have more speculation on this rap shit. I, I want to save it for Patreon. Oh, do you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, let's do it. We'll talk to y'all soon. Headed to Patreon. I'm that nigga. He's just ginger. Peace. No!